went over the 10 yards. 15 yard long. <laughs> Why are they wearing it? Um, Take that back, make that the 37 yard line about midfield. Looks like they're in a good field position as they start to kick it off and rumble with the Knights here at their home field and barn. The number 22 halfbacks looking for a little bit of room, and he's finally he's still on his feet before he's finally drug out of bounds by the Knights. Looks like we might have a good gain of about six yards, and they are going to move the chains on down. That's going to be first down, and they're almost getting into the red zone. Looks like they're about on the 35-yard line of the Knights as they start to creep into the Knight territory. First and ten, London Olympians. There's that Farnham crowd that we're always used to as they start blasting off. Mr. Drummer Boy there for the Premier Prospects. And here we are, first and 10 Olympians as they signed up in the shotgun formation. Quarterback number two, we got to get his name. And we got the line back, number 49. We got number 10 in play action fake. Great action here. And he tosses it off, a floater to number 10. Oh, look at that. Got a safety coming in and he's got some room on the outside. He's breaking tackles at the outside before he's finally right up at the safety. Number 30 out for the Farnham Knights finally pulls him down. A good tackle there. Otherwise, he had clear room all the way up the left side. We don't want to see that by the Knights as they move the chains down into the red zone. First and 10 Olympians. Just pushing into the red zone of the Farnham Knights. Number two, once again, for the quarterback of the Olympians, puts his player in play action fake. Play, uh, in motion, my apologies. And we have a flag here. Let's get the call. We'll get the full call from head up there, uh, David Knight. So for all of our listeners out there, we do apologize. We're trying to get a roster there from the Olympian, London Olympians. So at this time, we're unable to confirm exactly who's behind those numbers, but I'm sure that we'll be able to do that a little bit later in the game for you. So just bear with us. Once again, we would like to thank you for watching us today. We'd like to give you a little bit of our sponsorship at DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects, LT Sports, and Cheers Made Production is bringing you this live stream along with True Glaze Windows and Glass. Uh, once again, first and 10, London Olympians. motion number one they hand it off to the tailback number nine he's looking for some room and nowhere to go baby it looks like a loss of yardage number 25 for the Knights puts the stop down that's Appleford Alexander he comes up from the safety position and helps to assist let me see we have Gillard there number 23 out there we have number 85 Laharry the big man for the Farnham Knights good to see the Knights in action out there uh, led by Peak too tall, Fields, head coach, good to see him taking over the helm. The Knights are looking good, the Olympians are looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for watching. We're in for an exciting day here today. Play action, the big man's looking for a hole. He finds the two hole, excuse me, that's the three on the left side. Off of the guard, gain of about uh, two yards. Olympians are still, oh, this is going to be uh, third down. Third down and a long 12. And uh, the production. 
production team is really giving us a great effort here. I'll have my fellow colleagues with me, Tom and Richard, and there it is. He's fluffing it out. He finds his man up the middle. He's looking for some room. He's trying to break a tackle, and he's finally brought down. Oh, wide receiver breaks up the middle. Quarterback puts a nice little lob up there, and it looks like he gets a nice gain. They are in deep night position early in the first quarter of game play. The pressure is on the night. Big man Michael Peacock for the Knights. And number 69 trying to stop the holes there on the defensive line for the Farnham Knights. One of the Olympians. First and goal. Player in motion. Knights following. Quarterback, oh, we got a flag on the play, but it looks like we were intended for the wide receiver. Uh, let's find out what that flag is on the play. We'll send it on over there to David Knight, head up on the field. On that penalty is gonna be against the London Olympians. That's going to put him down to mark, ball mark on the 10-yard line. First and goal, London O. Once again, he puts his player in motion, trying to draw the defensive line. Here comes the pressure from the Knights, and he finally puts it off. Whoa, what a play up the middle, and it looks like it's good. we got to play a whistle on the action. Looks like it could be close. He's about marked at the two-yard line. They're going to down it. Yep, they'll down and mark that ball on the two-yard line. That'll be second and goal for the London O's. Look at, and then we got a beautiful, beautiful play. As you can see, as we're looking on the instant ray play, carried by number 23, 22 for the London O's. He's been with them for quite some time. I recognize the style. He is not a rookie. We got a timeout called on the play. Once again, we'd like to thank Cheers Mate Production for bringing us this, this great quality production capture of the game here, the first Farnham home game. So we'd really like to welcome you, and we are looking for a lot more to come from the Cheers Mate Production and from our other sponsors. Once again, we'd like to thank uh, Premier Prospects always diligently and always supporting the Farnham Knights, along with Tango Securities, D&H Breakwood, and True Glaze Windows and Conservatories. Back to the, f to the field as we're bringing you second and goal, London O's. Line sets up. Shotgun position, 27 in the high back position. Quarterback's looking for his man up the field, over shot. Pass is gonna be incomplete. That's gonna give us third down, third and gold. The Knights are holding the O's on the two yard line. Third and goal, London O's, play action fake, he's looking for his man, no flag on the play, clear, very good coverage by Andy Gillard, number 23 for the nice pass is incomplete, intended for number 89 of the London O's. That's going to give us a fourth down situation, let's see what the London O's are going to do on this one. Richard, what do you think? Do you? Maz, thank you, welcome. Welcome, Rich. What do I think they're going to do? Well, the 
pass game's not really working, is it? They're not catching. Uh, Farnham Knights doing their job. They've got to run it, and I think uh, straight up through the middle is my, that's where my money is. Well, it looks like your money may be, be right. I see the big fullback there, number 49 for the London O's, and the ball's about to be established. Take a look and see if Richard is right. We got some motion. Oh, the blitz is on by Gillard, and he's down. Oh, what a popcorn on the field. Shaka, waka, shaka, waka. Andy Giller comes back from the left side and puts the slack down on the London O's. He didn't have no time to respond. Play was broken up, and look at that on the instant replay. Giving his, his number away oh, wait a minute. That tackle was by Richard, who put the tackle down on there after Andy got through. That was a nice, clean half right on through. Let's see if I can catch that on the instant replay. See if we can tell you exactly who came in and made that tackle. There he is, number 27. 23 was the first man up, and 27 cleared out the man with the ball. That's what I'm talking about. That's teamwork. Well, that's a, uh, turning the ball over to the Barnum Knights. Uh, that was uh, Freddie. Freddie made that tackle on there, Richard. Good, Freddie. Come on, Freddie. Barnum gets their first possession of the ball. They hand it off to Junior, number 42. He breaks through the hole, gain of a couple of yards. That's Callum Brown on the ham for the Farnham Knights today, so we should see plenty of action from Callum. And we see junior number 42 back there in the fullback, and uh, number 27, he is our eye back today. And um, I think we were just talking about him. That's Freddie. <laughs> Come on, Freddie. <laughs> Freddie's getting in there. Yeah. Nice. He's doing the business. There we got Godfrey wind up on the sideline. I see David Carpenter there, number 57, DC for the Farnham, and there we go. Second down. Callum taking it to Ham directly. The snap. He's looking for Godfrey. He's got Godfrey. Oh, pass is incomplete. There's no flag. Broken up by number 54 for the London O's. Good defensive play there. Intended for Godfrey. Plays broken up. It's a side on view. Just see him in the corner of the picture there, and he just can't get his hands on it. Oh, no. And the good thing is that it was a clean play. So uh, no penalty there, good uh, defensive work from the London O's. That's gonna bring us back to the action. Now, Maz, one of the things I'm gonna ask you to do today is uh, I'm gonna ask you to explain some of these bits to me, right? I'm an Englishman, play rugby, I love this game, I follow it, I need you to give me some more, you know what I mean? Well, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do that in between the spots, it's Junior. Junior's looking for some room on the outside, he's 44th out. That was a third down situation, so the London O's are putting the pressure on. So let me see how I can break this down to you here. So like I'm saying, so we got the quarterback there dropping it out to the... The quarterback, I mean, yeah. our halfback. That's the running back there. That's right, so you there have our go. running backs, you have a fullback, and halfback depends on where position, where they are lined up behind the quarterback. So Just what I'm looking for in here, right? I'm interested, I want to play the game. What position would I play? Look, I'm big, I'm strong, I'm not that quick, but I've got really good hands, and that's what I want to try and get over in this, Maz. Well, Rich, somebody who's big like you, he wants to be on that offensive line. So let's take the special teams at this time as they do all to do the snap. We have the special teams up there, the snaps there for the punt, they're very important. Good boot, he puts it downfield. And it's going to be picked up by the London O's. Hell, oh, he's stubborn and he's brought down by the big 66. Oh, that looks like a highway 66. He finally brought him down. Here we go, Maz. He's following it good there. The bounce. Decides it's kind for him. 25 just gets pulled off. Looked like helmet to me. 66. That's nice. Now, that's a front row prop playing there. That's where they need to be. Well, see, that's the special teams by Thomas Outway. Well, that was a play and a half. Good pace, getting up there and making the tackle. Well, that's going to bring us a good field position for the London O's. First and 10, London Olympians as their second time on ball possession. Well, he looks good today. The guys are fresh. I'm liking the work they're doing, but let's see if the Falcon defense can stop it today. Here we go. First and 10. Snap, he hands it off to the running back. He's looking for some room on the outside, and he's finding it, and he's getting out to the 20. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. He's about to go to the arms zone before he's finally ran out by the final Knights. What a play. The outside tackle and guard by the London O's just pulled to the right. As you can see, they're number opening 10, up there. Dan yep. Phil blocking. As you can see, they're opening up the holes, making it at the tackle. 
Yeah. Bal Balahari has to come. Balari has to come across field to find. I mean, the middle linebacker has to finally come across field to force him out, along with Hayes, number 11. Okay, I'm with you. A great play there. Great, great run by the wing. Great blocking up front there, making the space, making the hole, creating the First space for him. Ten. That's First what we say. We got to run into the space. First and ten. Red zone. Under nose. Great side view here we get of the game to see what we're seeing. And he's looking for his man on the outside, and he's got him! And we got a flag on the play. So we have a flag on the play. Paul was captured, was caught. So let's see what David McKnight has to say on this. I'm very interested. Okay, they're talking to the Farnham Knights, so it looks like this could be against the London O's. Let's pull it over to David Knight on the field. And there it is, pass on interference on the offense. So let me tell you a little bit about the rule of pass on interference. When the ball is in the air, it is fair game if you are going for the ball and you are looking for the ball. If you are not looking at the ball and you obstruct the player from reaching to the ball, i.e. you grab him, tap him prematurely, or you take his hands out of play, that will be a pass on interference. So the offense and this time they play negatively against the London O's. First and goal, first and goal, just about. And they hand it off to 27, he's looking for some hole. He's finally snatched up. Balahari, Balahari. Balahari. Here he is, he's come through the middle there. They call him Pip, number 85. He's gone back, so he's taken his man and he's come back and done it. It's good coverage, I mean, you, you've got to, you got to look around, you've got to be aware. You may have a helmet on, but you've got to have peripheral vision. You've got to see where that ball, that play's going, and you've got to get back and help your lads out. That's what practice comes in for, Richard. As you say, uh, your peripheral vision and your hearing is a little bit impaired on the field, but uh, you get used to it after a while. Get a yeah. helmet on you, you can find out. Hey, hey, well, that's, those days are coming. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> back on the field, second and long for the London O's, about 20 before the first down, a couple of penalties. Quarterback's funneling it off to the running back. Whoa, he's got it. Missed tackle by Gillard. Another break from number 999. He's breaking tackles left and right, and he's fighting into the end zone. Does he make it? And it's a touchdown, London. Oh, oh, play that back again. Here we go in the left of the picture there. He's bouncing, he's bouncing. Nobody's getting his knee down. You've got to go low, you've got to go low. He's bouncing again there. They got him to pull him. And does he get it across there? Yes, he breaks that line. As long as the ball gets over the line, it is considered a touchdown, and that is a prime example of a touchdown. Great running from the London O's, pure determination. Barnum Knights need to hit them low. You heard, Richard, let's get low, guys. They're going for the extra point, and let's take it right back down to the field. Number 78 for the London O's for the extra point. And the attempt is no good. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update today. Farnham Knights, a zero. London Olympians, six, six. We're seven minutes and a few seconds just into the first quarter of play. So plenty of time for the Farnham Knights to get warmed up here as they debut their home season. 2019, God free to receive for the, for the Farnham Knights.
And the kickoff is up there, and it looks like it is to Godfrey. Godfrey's going to take it from the five. Godfrey's hitting it about to the 20, and he's finally put down by 27 for the London O's. So the Knights will be taking the ball. Back to the field. Knights are lining up. Callum Brown, he takes a snap. He hands it off to Junior. Junior's looking for some room. He finds a couple of yards that he scrapes up before he's brought down by 54 and 44. There we go, second down, long seven for the Knights. Callum Brown, number four on the helm, number 50, pushing the snap on the center, and we have a flag. Okay, that penalty was against Farnham. That's going to push him back. That's going to be second down and 12 for the Farnham Knights. James Ingram on the snap. Callum makes a snap. He finds Godfrey in and out of the hands of Godfrey. He heard footsteps and the ball goes down. That's going to be third down and 12 for the Farnham Knights. OMG, is he going to kick himself from that one? And there it is, in and out the hands. Uh, the center for the Farnham Knights, James Ingram. He's looking doing some good, consistent work. I need to find out how many years he's been there. Lined up there next to DC and oh wait. And, and just, third and long. And that was just basics, wasn't it? Just catching the ball. That's what we got to work on there. And here comes the London. Oh, they got Callum wrapped up. Oh, through the line comes Big 54 along with 91 and 44 for the London O's. I don't think the offensive line for Farnham was awake on that one. That's going to bring the special teams in fourth down situation. They're going to have to punt the ball. And uh, we're going to look at the line up here. Callum's ready for it. And if you see the middle linebacker, number 54, he comes in between the sides of Callum. He's right in on the quarterback, Callum, excuse me, on James. He gets Callum very quick assistance from the outside line, tight end. Puts it right down, loss of 10 yards, special teams, punt time, Farnham. So punt, just get it, oh, that could have gone straight to his hands, would have helped. Straight up, and then what we got to do, now this is the bit I want you to explain to me. Look, he might not touch it, he might, no, he's picking up and running with it, I like it, I like it. Not a good move, not a good move, well played Farnham. Well, when you're doing a punt, when the ball is um, on the ground, if any player picks up the touches the ball, it can be live or down. So if Farnham touches the ball, they can down the ball, meaning that's where the ball is going to be played next. Now, but they can't take it further? Yes, no. Right. They cannot until London touched the ball. Now, let me give you an example. If I kick the ball and it hits a London player on the helmet, what's going to happen? That it's ball live. is fair game right. for everybody. I right. guess we should start looking for helmets. Yeah. <laughs> that's one way of doing it, Matt. That's one way of doing it. Back to the field. But I thought that's what we got to stay away from, isn't it? Well, head on head, we definitely have to stay away from it. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the game pro progresses on. Some of the technology that's been put into the, to the game to yep. keep these players safe. Yep. First and 10, London O's, quarterback in the shotgun position. He 
hands it off to the big man, number 86. He's looking for some room, in the, and he's breaking tackles for you. Oh, fumble! Oh, fumble. The ball is down. Bellari looks like he has it. You see what the ref's going to say here. But uh... So as, as you can see, it's handed off to number 36. He's looking for some room. Now they're holding him up, and while he hits the ground, the ball comes unloose. But if his knee hits the ground first, then he is down. They're going to rule it down. That's going to be se second down, a long five, London O's. Farnham in the nickel. Ball snap. He's looking up. He's looking for his man, number 10. He's found him. The receiver off the backfield. He's at the five. He is in the end zone over the hands of the safety. Oh, what a play by the London O's. Let's look at that again, Rich. As you can see, he is going to have all the time in the world to pass the ball. He's going to find his man. He's got his back off the line. He makes a juke cut over Hayes and now right tackle. over the right shoulder, and there he is gone. It's wheels to heaven and six more points on the board. And, and that's where, with a defensive guy there, I mean, like, he's seen the guy catch. He's just got a hit then, hasn't he? I mean, that's instant. You're not going to catch him. He's caught the ball, hit. As fast as you can. Exactly. See, it's so easy from up here. Well, you know we got a flag on the play. Now, as you've seen, we had a, uh, a uh, player coming into the, in motion onto the pitch. So this could be a very unique uh, penalty. Let's find out. Or we run it inside because they put two men on the left and three on the right. And that's it. That's all they've got in the Explain. box. Explain. Yeah. Illegal substitution. You know, complete. We've got seven blocks. They didn't have one player yeah, off. You yeah, could yeah, only exactly. have 11 yeah. men on the field. Right, OK. Yeah, yeah this is where it's Blows so the whistle yeah. and you still have a player on the field. Yeah. It could be a penalty. It once inside, and that would just be secure block we've all against done. the <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, like you know. And here we are, red zone again for the O. They're looking for, oh, no one was there, no one to write through, and he takes a big hit by Big 90 for the Farnham Knights. That's E, man. So you it again there, look. Plenty of time on the ball, plenty of time. And, and it's oh, up. Is that a late tackle? I don't think so. He's committed. Oh, no, He's very got the ball. clear, He's very, very clean. That was a very clean play. Yeah. Excellent work yeah, there by the Farnham Knights. So was that special teams or was that defence defending the, the extra point? Do you bring special teams on for that? Well, they had a pe they had a penalty. So you have special teams when you are going to do a special play. And a special play is going to happen there after a touchdown right. and following a touchdown. Right. So you do bring your special teams on. You. I don't ask your defence to carry on doing what they just done badly. No, you will rotate some of the players out and you will be the ones who have the skill to fit the remit of the, of the play. Okay, and here we got the Knights receiver again, ready and waiting. Kick off by Big 78 for the London O's. He's getting him some practice in. We have our scoring update. Barnum, Knights 0, London Olympians 12, 456 still in the first quarter of play. And here we are, the ball's up. And it's gonna dribble down. Godfrey's still gonna pick it up. Godfrey's looking to break some tackles and no, nowhere to run. He's smothered by the London O special teams. Great play, they keep that field position in the negative area in front of Barnum. That's going to put some pressure back on the Farnham Knights as they have time on their side still, first quarter of play. There we go, pick up here. There it is in betw between. Uh, he should have, he uh, his blocker didn't really block there. He just kind of like, that's like a rugby. He just tagged onto him like he was going to create a maul. He well, needed to get in front and block. Well, what you saw there was between Appleford and Godfrey. At that time, Godfrey and Appleford worked very well together, so he knows he could pass the ball to Appleford at that time while they're hiding it, allowing Appleford to juke off. But uh, unfortunately, okay. that didn't work on that play, as you see. The snap, Callamy hands it to Junior. Junior's finding some room on the outside, and there's Junior putting the wheels, and it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Knights. Let's get the official ruling on the field. Junior fumbles the ball. Fortunately, it looks like it's picked up by the Farnham Knights, uh, that recovery. I think that's number 84 for the Knights who recovered that ball. 
Yeah, yeah, I've, I've went around the dust before. You know, this is Gaines. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just played, um, we played war games. Oh, I'll tell you what he is. That's going to be <laughs> first down. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the noise. <laughs> so we see this again. He does not like to lose. <laughs> and he, like, makes up rules and you're like... <laughs> and there's the ball out. Oh, they ripped it out, Richard. They ripped it out of his arms. That's a good defensive play. And they're back on and oh, oh, oh interception. Yeah, yeah Farnham Knights aren't happy with that for some reason. Well, let's get the ruling on. They're saying that there is a penalty on the play. And that's going to turn it over to the London O's. Well, let's see if we can explain what happened there, Richard. That happened very fast. A, a basic straight interception. He threw it uh, to a guy in the wrong color shirt. I like how you say the wrong color shirt. Yeah, well, you could say that. He's looking for Godfrey right there, but he throws it a little bit too soon right to the defender. So um, if he was looking for the guy in the right color shirt, wrong color shirt, he found it. He's success. Yeah. But with that, what he's doing, he's throwing the ball in front of the guy, so the guy runs on and catches it, and the defender uh, is, is read that, and he's staying his ground rather than being pulled by that. And so that's kind of like just a, a miscommunication between the uh, it's just a quarterback and yeah, misread, yeah. First and 10, London knows, midfield position. He's looking for his mind on the outside, and he finds number 10. That guy is that's number 18. He's hot. He's coming back in the midfield. He's looking for some running room. They snatch the ball out. No, Farnham's trying. Good snatch there by number 23. And there he is, number 18. Watch how he cuts to the outside and then comes back to the inside. That's a brave runner. He is looking to gain more ground than rather to keep safety and stop the clock and run out of bounds. Yeah, but wasn't he coming in to like, you know, you, they say this, I mean, it's a rugby thing, don't get isolated. He's coming in where his players are. So what he's doing is he's looking for support, those blockers in front of him, rather than being isolated out there on his own. Because it's no fun being on your own. Nope, not in this game. You need 10 other guys to keep you happy. Exactly. And here we are, a second and two for the London O's. So we're going to substitute number 59 for 99. 50 pound strip or three for a pound. <laughs> That's a big Niven, Matthew Niven coming in, number 99. Coming to put some pressure for the defensive line. Second and two, London O's. Getting plenty of support from their fans today here in Farnham. The pressure is on. Quarterback's looking for some room. He's looking on the outside. He finds his man. There's a flag on the field, but it's number 10 again. We have a flag on the field. Excuse me. Uh, let's get the official ruling there from David Knight over to the field. Well, once again, we still don't have the roster from the London Olympians, so we're trying to give them as much credit by calling the numbers out at this time. I designed this uniform about three years ago, my kids. Yeah, I remember you did a Facebook profile picture. Yeah, yeah, I did it. It was on my Facebook profile. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was like trying to push it. Yeah. Uh, only, only once you got it, didn't I? Know, yeah. <laughs> well, that's going to be against the London O's. Penalties are going to be hurting them there. That's yeah. going to be. <laughs> Let's get that official down. For my calculation, that still should be second down, and that is a second down, a long five for the London O's. Big nose tackle number 69, Alexi. He's been with the Knights for quite some time. The pressure is on. Here comes the Knights, and oh! I know like where to run. The pressure was on. <laughs> Straight up through the middle there. There he is. Nobody. And that ball in his hand. So now, well, what's this all about? Arm backwards, arm forwards, all this type of stuff. Well, you know, what's all that? To me, he just tackled. But we're going to have something now, aren't we? We're going to be told his arm was forward back. He wasn't protected enough. He hasn't got enough padding on. Maz, enlighten me. Well, here it is. When the arm is coming back to throw the ball, if you grab the arm, you can injure 
the quarterback. It's really common sense. Out. What they're saying is do not grab that portion or the shoulder while he is in motion of throw. If you hit the quarterback low while the arm's in motion, it's easy. Right, okay. And we have the snap. London knows he's looking for his man. Intercepted. It's intercepted. It's Gillard. It's, no, it's not. That's number 25. And we got a touchdown. There's points on the board for the night. I don't see a flag on the play. Richard, do you see anything of a flag on the play? No flag. No. Oh, there is a flag. I got a yellow flag. Okay, let's get the official ruling while I while I pull up my man on that one. What an interception, Appleford. David Knight's going to enlighten us all. Enlighten me, Matt. Well, we didn't see the full picture. We didn't see this full picture, but if you, you have a little bit of too much celebration, I'm sure you're used to this, but celebrating in the end zone is not acceptable. That can get you an unsportsmanlike conduct. So let's see if we can see some action on the field of what exactly happened. Here we have the snap. Alexander has it. There's nothing wrong with that then, that's all good. Well, yes, and then the ball is now let's going into the end zone, and let's just take a look here. What oh, let's see. So he's really pleased. It's going really good. There kicks, it is. He kicks the ball. There you go. You can't do that. You're not allowed to be too happy, are you? I'll tell you something. That I've seen this before. Ridiculous. Guy's just got a touchdown. All that passion built up. Everything about him. Adrenaline's pumping, and eee, don't tell me, right? Well, it's just like this. If you, if you want to sell if you want to celebrate your new car do it at home oh, I don't know mate I'm not I'm not with you there I mean you've got 70,000 people not here but in the stadium they're all cheering with you they all want it to be there and right. it's blocked one second Richard yeah and uh, extra attempt was uh, no good so let's give you a, sc a scoring update and I will elaborate just a little bit more officially on the celebration rule yeah now I agree with it officially I couldn't agree more I, I know you're spot on with that but let me just say this, it's wrong. You know what? I kind of agree with you because I want to flutter my wings if I get in that end zone. Exactly, exactly. Now, if you ever see me in the end zone, I'm going to flutter my wings. I'll take the 15. I'll take the 15 as well, yep, yep, <laughs> absolutely. So we got a scoring update for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a couple of updates here for you. So uh, we have our scoring update. Barnum Knights, 6. London owes 12. Now, that is the first point of the premier season here at home for the Farnham Knights, and that means that Coach Ox must shave off his beard. I heard this whispered on the field today. I like it. I like it. Now, that's what I like. Now, now I think that's their first points this season. Yes, it is. They had a couple of shutouts away um, with the... the uh, Exiles and the Warriors. That's exactly. Blitz. The Blitz. Sorry, Blitz and the Warriors. And the Warriors. That's correct. Well, and so this is good to see them making some points and putting the pressure on another London team. So let's keep our eyes on the game. We're still early into it, and I think we're going to see some exciting times. Let's take it over. Uh, just to say, Maz, this clock... It's pretty accurate. It's not the official timekeeping. And the reason for that, because I'm on it, and I keep forgetting to stop and start it. But anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll explain a little bit later, but we will let you know when we, get to, <laughs> when we change quarters and when, we're in, when we are into the two-minute warning. So until then, just listen up, and we are here for the kickoff for the Knights, and the ball is up. It's a short kick. It's, oh, it touches the nine. London O is going to have it midfield. Not the greatest return, but not the greatest kickoff. So that's going to give the London Olympians very good uh, field position as they are going to make their uh, attempt to move the ball on the Farnham Knights again. So Coach Alex has to shave off his beard. I'm loving it, and I'm sure that the Farnham Knights are loving it and the fans are loving it too. So once again, while we're waiting for the snap, we'd like to thank our sponsors at DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects, LT Sports. Cheers, mate. Yes, cheers, mate. Productions, I'm with you guys. And True Glaze, Windows, and Conservatories. First and 10, London O's will take it to the field. Motion. We have a change of quarterbacks, and it's to number nine for the London O's. He's finding some room. It looks like he's going to have the first down. 
So we had a change of players in the back in the backfield for the London O's. They've taken out the quarterback number two, changed it up with number seven, and we have number nine uh, going for running back for the London O's. Now I've seen both of these players play in previous seasons. Both of them are experienced and very fast. As you can see, look at that man turn the wheels on. Once he gets an opening, he steps through it like the black hole. That's gonna move the chains down. What did, what did, what did he say there? Oh, in the first quarter. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first quarter of play. Once again, your scoring update, Farnham Knights six, London Olympians 12. So Richard, if you have any questions, this is about the best time for me to answer them for you. Maz, there are so many of them. There are so many of them, right? But let's start now. So where, where does this celebration, you're not allowed to celebrate, come from then? What's that all about? Well, this, this comes from the actual NFL. Most of the rules and regulations are going to be passed down to all the leagues in the National Football um, League of the United States of America. Now, this happens because we have players that are starting to take up what we call commercial spot time. Celebrating right. too long in the end zone, which they call unsportsmanlike conduct when they start celebrating, making acronyms towards your fellow team. And so they would start making some innuendos and doing some special dances that were offending the other teams. And after that, they decided that this kind of celebration would not be acceptable. And okay. we have a flag on the play. We missed that first play there. Uh, my apologies on that explanation. Well, basically he threw it and he didn't uh, jump high enough and catch it. That was the uh, basics of there. But we must have a flag because David McKnight's in the show. Well, I hope this is not the David Knight show, but they keep doing these flags. We're going to call it the <laughs> David Knight show. Well, that's against my man Floki, Andy Gillard, number 23 for the Knights. He can get kind of excited there. And so it looks like he got a little bit uh, rough on the passer. And that is going to cause them to have a first down. That's going to move the chains down, and that's going to put the London O's in the red zone of Farnham Knights. And he's not going to be very happy about that either, is he? No. Because that, that's just basically three yards, isn't it? I mean, that's like a three great. yards, exactly. When it's a personal foul, that means that you're not keeping yourself in check. That's what it says. Personal foul. First and goal, London O's on the helm, number 18. Number 16, he, he passes it off, number 22. He's looking for some room on the outside, and he looks like he might find it, and he just scoots right on in. That's going to be a touchdown. Nope, he has ran out of bounds, and it was a touchdown. There we are. Touchdown, number 22, London O's. All the time and all the blocking in the world, if you can play that back one, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Quarterback number 16. Uh, back number 22, just a quick little flick off to the side. Look at the block in his hail. Number 10 is keeping Andy wrapped up, and there's nowhere to stop him, and he just walks it right in like a cakewalk. Okay, that's really nice of you there, saying the blocking. That, that, you're not allowed to hold, are you? Surely he was holding him, wasn't he? That's not for us to determine. No, that's yeah. right. No, it's, it's for us to just, it's us to comment on for the ref to determine. Well, I, I will say, if, we, if instant replay was played back in the rule, we might get a ruling on that play. But unfortunately, with the BAFRA, instant replay is not official, so we have to take it live on the field. Yeah, no, that's fine. And uh, listen, never criticize the refs. And the extra attempt, he's looking. Oh, he's smothered. Nowhere to run on the special team. And it looks like Andy made up for that 15th by stopping two. So, <laughs> well, we're going to get a scoring update there for us. And there it is, the big man, number 48. He's looking for somewhere to go. Andy Geller comes from the back, from the backfield, and comes around, wraps him up, and puts him on down. And that's number 49. My apologies. Back on the field, we are uh, now in the second quarter of play. That's going to give London O 17, Farnham Knights 6, and here comes the special teams to kick off and to receive. Special teams. Not an offense, special teams, another lot. And, that, and that's why the roster's so big, because you need somebody to do everything. That, that's correct. He says special teams, not so special. No, there's not the small yellow bus down player specials. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And you do have a high roster because you do have specialized players. You only use certain players for certain objectives. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, like you have a kicker and a, you know you receiver. You know, you know you got it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Once again, Mr. Godfrey to return for the Farnham Knights. Big kick up, and it looks like it's going to reach his hands, and Godfrey has the ball. Godfrey's looking up the middle. He finds a little bit of middle. He oh, finds, what? That's a shoe. Was it a shoe? I thought it was the ball. <laughs> no, it didn't knock the sense off of him. Knocked the shoe off of him. Yeah. There you go. That's Godfrey's shoe, but he hands on to the ball, and that's going to be first and ten. Good field position for the Farnham Knights. And there he is, a little bit of block in there. No foul, no harm. First and 10, Farnham Knights taking the ball on the 34 yard line. So basically, uh, you're a wide receiver, you're the glory boy, aren't you? You're the guy that's gonna, your guys in front of you, you're gonna make the holes, make the space for you, you're gonna run it and then the pitch. Well, the wide receivers are our far right. Here, Godfrey. On that special teams, sorry, that we just saw there. Well, on the special teams, yes, you're the glory boy. And there's Junior, Junior's looking for some, moon, some room. Nowhere to run. The ref's gonna go on and down that. Forward progress is made. He'll gain a gain of a couple of yards before the ball is blown dead. Hey, Sheriff, there we are. Junior, he's looking for some room from DC. DC held up. And then he, as you can see, number 57 for the um, offensive line. Now, if you watched him, he made sure to follow the rules because sometimes you will see the offensive line reach out to a player because they've passed him. Yeah. DC's very experienced. He's been playing for over 20 years for the Farnham Knights, and he knows just to let him play on, and hopefully one of your other players can stop him, keeping a flag from going on the field. That's going to be uh, second down, second and 10. Farnham Knights. Callum hands the ball off to Junior. Junior's going right back up the middle, looking for some more room, nowhere to run. The London O's are snuffering him up, and uh, that ball is blown dead. And Matt, so, so we're, we, at this point, we're stopping the clock because the refs come in with something. No, no? So we're going to cr crack on here. The clock keeps going um, at this time until the ref tells us to stop the clock, until we reach the two-minute warning, and then another set of rules comes in. I'll tell you about those in about eight minutes. Okay, that's fine. All I'm saying is a lot of whistles going off. There's a lot of waving of arms by the refs. It's difficult to know if he's stopping the clock or... You know, and most, as we all say, you know, these American football games, you know, you watch the NFL, takes at least four or five hours, you know. And so here, we're spinning through it. We're spinning through it. Well, you think I we need some more ads? Well, I can help you out here. www.bafra.org. That is where you can find the official rulings for the BAFRA NFL rules and regulations. Back to the field. Third down and a long eight for the Farno Knights. And Paul Ball's looking for Godfrey, pass is incomplete. That'll be a fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights, but they're in great field position. Let's see what Pete Tutal is gonna do on this play. So Maz, what are his options? He, he's basically, he's got, a, he's got a fourth and nine, so it means that if he doesn't go the nine yards, then it's a turnover ball. Okay, well, we just have a complete change because we have, have it automatically have a foul. A penalty has been called on the play. Uh, we didn't capture that. We'll have our, our studio production team bring that back to us. That's going to bring the change down. That's going to be a first and 10 for the Farnham Knights, almost putting them in the London O's red zone. Great result. Pete's off the hook on that one. Yeah, he certainly is. He doesn't have that decision. Here we go here. Coming over. Ah, pass interference yeah. on 24. He's saying no, the ref's saying yes. That sounds like a divorce. No, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> What's mine is yours, except the, the penalty. Yeah, mine is yours and yours is mine. And do you think that the 24, when he put his arms up as soon as he touched him, he kind of gave it away? Yeah, it's like you stole some candy. You know you did it. And here we are, back to the field of play. He's looking for Godfrey oh. in and out the hands. He keeps it low. Godfrey's saying that's pass interference on 54. He's, he's, he was reaching, but it looks all clean. So uh, we're going to continue on play. Second down. Good snap there. And a good, uh, you can see here's Callum right here. Great snap here by Adams. 
Callum, likes, he likes to take the snap directly from the quarterback. Look at he stays right in the pocket. All the blocking that he can ask for right there. He had all the time. Threw it low to keep it from getting into the middle linebacker's view. Very good, just a little bit too low for Godfrey to make the reception. That's gonna be second and 10, Knights. Uh, we got a bad snap there. Let's get the official ruling. That could be a few penalties going on there. Um, excuse me, that's, that center is James. <laughs> well, that's going to be a false start against the offense, as you can see right here on the O-line. Let's see who we can see who moves. They get a little spooked. Oh, there. We get a little bit of movement. Well, looks like... Um, well, it looks like James stu stood up for a little bit there, but uh, 27 moved a little bit to the left. Good, good eyesight for that. To me, it was the London O's guy. Well, that's why you have four refs on the field. Yeah. That's going to be second and 15. Oh, and then and there we go. We got a draw pull there. London O's drew the offensive line. Another movement. Well, they, they called it directly there. That was on number 69. He's not going to be too happy, but once again, that is a move. Now, um, Alexi knows better than that. Come on now. He's been playing for about 14 years. But you can see you get that, that, that little jitter from the defense, and you're so wound tight when you're down there in that offensive position. You do have to stay still, and you have to wait until the quarterback gives the command to snap. Once he says set, that's what they mean, set. And, and, and this is all in line. You're not allowed to celebrate. You're not allowed to move. You've got to keep all your functions, Callum. all your emotions under control. Callum to JR. JR is looking for some more room. Junior is finally brought down by the London Nose. Looks like he has a small gain of a few yards there. That's going to be a third down situation. That is correct. Once they have put you in the set position, you are need to be set. Now, at that time, the quarterback can call an audible and pull one of his layer, his players that are in the backfield and can move them to the other side of the backfield. That's called an audible. We'll see that a lot more when we see the London O's like to use an audible quite often. And here we are. Callum's bringing his Knights back up to the line. And as he's playing, he pulls an audible. And that audible puts Junior over to the left side. And uh, there, there's that big hole by the Knights. DC does his job, opens up the hole. Good gain of about four yards. Big fullback Freddie comes stepping through. And that's going to be about a four and three. Four and three. And there it is. Look at the hole. Look at the hole there for Freddie. I think if he would have kept to the left, he would have had a lot more clear room to run there. Do you know what? It just looked for me there, just run. Just keep going. He seemed to stop. He, he anticipated the tackle, right? Just plow through. Plow. Plow. Forrest, Forrest, Gump. Run, Forrest, run. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> he anticipated and stopped. And back to the field. Special teams. Punt. A beautiful punt by the Knights. Ball is up, and it's going to be received by... Number 10 for the London Nose, excuse me. That is, yes, number 10. I noticed that run, and there he is. He's got all the room on the left side. Look at the big man run. He's at the 10, 5, and he is in the end zone. OMG, the big man from London pulls it through. Did you see the run? High stepping all the way through. Two tackles broke, and we got a flag on the play. Well, let's pull it over there, Mr. David McKnight on the field. So we might, we might have a little. Well, come on, well, let's see. Could be celebration. Uh, no, there was no celebrating that time. They've learned their lesson by now, haven't they? I personally thought he took him out right at the very beginning, right? You know, where he fell over so the 25 didn't get to him. But uh, we're, um, David Knight is having a good chat, and he, he, he doesn't like something. This is called courtroom field drama. Right, yeah. Well, that's the district attorney, yep. and that's the prosecutor. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what they tell the judge. Ladies and gentlemen, the judge has now got to decide what that position is. And he's pointing fingers. That's not good. But it's good for his final nights. Well, 
Okay, Gillard's talking to the coach. Andy Gillard, I remember that young man. Heart of gold. And a lion, too, playing for the Knights. Been there for quite some time. Great contributions. Also playing special teams. Got 52, Andrew Welsh for the Knights out there today. Number two, Tyler Matthews. Peter Wells, number 65 out there today. 38, Tom Tame. James Farrell, my man, number 31. Daniel Stokes, as always, good to see you, Daniel. And Suchi, number 95. And, and so one of the side refs here has gone over the chat to two tool. They're talking to the um, 53. So everybody's getting in. Everybody wants a, a bit of this. And the only people that don't know what's happening are everybody that's watching. So it would be Andy if they, David Knight would come out here and give us some spiel. Kind of remind you of courtroom drama. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> exactly. So let's, let's, let's see. What, is David Knight ready to present? I, th I think he's still chair. He is. He is. Oh, he's talking to Too Tall over there. Oh, he's coming back. Here we go. So, 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 well, why are they confirming it? Why don't they just give us the decision then, Maz? Well, really, they should come over here. We could show them the decision. Yeah. But I mean, well, like, surely. I think that, so what it is, is you have four different umpires on the field, on yep. refs, and you have one umpire, okay? So everybody has to tell the story of what they suspect or hypothesize of what happened. Yeah, yeah, but why are they going to the coaches and talking to the players? They just decide this, tell us well, what's happening, and then go and explain the decision, yeah? Well, they're explaining it to the coaches of a, what they think they see happen. Here we are. <laughs> Now that's a side unsportsmanlike contact against a, a sideline player. Yeah. Oh, that happened a lot. Now, yeah. This can happen if you go out of the box or you address the referee directly. But he's not sure about this, you know, because he's uh, turned his mic off in another chat and they're discussing it again. And he's talking about a penalty that's further up the pitch, which would mean that that one down the bottom here can supersede the one down here. Yeah, it just like disappears off, so we go null and void on that one. A bit like my insurance falls, right? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Null and void, and let's go back to the original one. <laughs> so it, it's going to find out which penalty is going to weigh against which team's factor. So I am still quite confused along with you, Richard, so I'm just going to leave it up to David. I'm going to put him on the helm of this one. David Knight, it's over to you. <laughs> can have another go. The ball is off <laughs> it was the hottest summer we ever had. It was such. I'll tell you what. Was, the water. The water. I mean, it's, it's 3G down there, and the water. The water was running off okay. the pitch. And the referee said, <laughs> about 10 minutes before the kickoff, the ref said, "We're going to call this off." They took the hold against the white. But where are they going to mark the ball? So, so that was the. That's what we just saw there. That was the. Yeah, because he just. That ref just dropped the flag. So there, that's our hold. So they're going to drop the unsportsmanlike conduct. I missed the 41 doing anything down the side there. So. And they'll take the action conduct. So let's see where they're going to mark the ball. And uh, I will say that's going to be a lucky break for the Farnham Knights. I am sure that they did not want to swallow a, a kickoff return today. Yeah, quite right. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of that drama. So just to bring you up to speed, we had three penalties. We had two unsportsmanlike penalties that offset each other and a hold against the London um, Olympians at the time of the ball mark. That's at the spot that the uh, receiver caught the ball so they're going to mark the ball there and it's going to be first down london o there we go all right london is, london is in shotgun position number 16 Holds this man in motion a low snap and there's a flag on the play looks like we have and lots of whistles 
Well, get used to the whistles. It's not the paparazzi, it's the rapparacci. Yeah. Oh, my dad actually goes that for a while. He's very reluctant, but... Well, that's going to bring it half a distance to the goal. So let me explain that. If the penalty is five yards, but I'm within the four-yard line, I can't bring it back five yards. I would bring it in the actual end zone. So yep. when the penalty is more than the yardage, uh, that you, it, that would put you into the end zone, they bring it back half of that distance. Right, okay. So that brings that back half a distance to the goal line. That's going to be second down. Under no. Uh, play action fake, and it's a fumble, and it looks like the Knights have the ball. Oh, play action fake. He did not. He tried to keep the ball. He got hit from behind. Drops the ball, and there he is, number 25, my man, Appleford, putting in the work today. He comes up with the ball. Let's see where they mark it. That's going to put the Knights in great field position. I am sure they are excited out here today in Farnham. And there it is. He tries oh, he to keep it. Boom. And there's our man, 25, picking it up. Yeah, he gets hit by Andy, number 23, number 25. Appleford, he comes in. You know, those two have been playing football together for quite some time. First and goal, Barnum Knights. Here comes the London O. They got the big guys out there, number 64 and 98. So where's your money? A run, a pass? My money's on a run. Well, that's going to be there handed we go. off Through to the Junior. Yep. Junior's yeah, yeah, got a hole, there. and yes. Junior's in! Coquilla for the touchdown, number 42. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this play. They're lined up, got the two big eye back there, number 42, he gets the ball, big hole by DC, number 57 opens up the big hole for him. And between him and Alexi, all the time for him to just walk it right on in. That's my favorite number, that was my number I played in, number 42, I like to see him doing it to it. I tell you what I like there was the dummy, the first runner took the dummy and opened up the bigger hole. DC came to the left, gave him the hole, and so right through the middle. Right A through the middle. A real team play, like it. Extra point attempt. Godfrey to hold, house to snap, it's the snap, it's up. And I think we're gonna be, yes. And it's good. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights 13, London O's 18. They are coming back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Monk Lane Farnham Rugby Stadium. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwood, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, Cheers Mate Productions, and True Glaze Windows and Conservatories. Once again, guys, I'm loving the setup here. Team, True um, Cheers Mate Productions is working really hard, and we are with their setup, and I must say, I've been in a few different mobile setups, and this is flush, guys. Thank you ever so much for doing this and for having me here. I greatly appreciate it. Maz, it's a pleasure and an education having you here, mate. We're absolutely enjoying every minute of it. Uh, glad you like the setup. Glad you like the setup. And nice and mobile. We come in here, we set up, and the next thing you know, we've got live American football plowing out across the nation. Boy, if I could only set up my stocks transfer this easy, I would be a happy man. They're going to take this action back to the field as the Knights are about to kick off. Um, can I get a clear uh, a confirmation on uh, that kickoff? Is that number 53? Good kick from the Knights. Yes, indeed. And there it is. We got number 18 oh, for the London. He's low. looking at nowhere to go. Blarry, number 85 and number 90 have uh, smothered him up for the Farnham Knights. That's going to be first and 10 for the London O's. So that's E-Man number 90, and Blahari, um, they like to call him Pip. <laughs> number 85 for the Fire of Knights. As you can see the run back, he's looking for a little bit of hole, but he goes right through. His blockers are now, have dis been decimated by the special teams of the Farnham Knights. Now, what you do on special teams, there's different plays that you can run. As you can see, the Farnham Knights did a wheelhouse there, and that breaks up the line of the offense because they are coming at him at a 45 degree. Kind of like Alexander did at the uh, the, at, uh, the Battle of, of Canaan. Well, 45 uh, degrees. Impressed. Well, it works it out, yeah. Hey. Conquer and divide. Divide and conquer. Back to the field, first and 10, one to no. Tosses it off to the tailback, number 36. He 
cuts it in. Oh, he's breaking tackles. He's got more speed on the outside. Looks like he has a first down. Great speed by those London players. And, and we, we, we got to cut the flags because it wouldn't be the same if we didn't. <laughs> no, you said that right. That's, what, that's their own play itself. I call it the flag. And we have a couple of them out there. Let's see um, what Mr. McKnight, Mr. Knight has to say on this one. He's not too sure either. He's got his palms outstretched, and he's going from me to you. It's a Carly and Jason number, I think. I call it the Abel and Costello. Hey, you guys! <laughs> Here we go. He's going to enlighten us. Well, that's going to bring that run right on back. Holding is a no-no for the offense. And let's see if we can catch who did the crime. 89, he said, I think. Well, we can see the big 89. Oh, he's pulling downfield. He's going. That has to be 85. Yeah. And there we go from our tight end. And back to live play. We have the ball slap. It's handed, handed off to the wide receiver. He comes back and motion number 27. He's finally smothered by the Farnham Knights. Once again, that's Appleford and Giller getting a little piece of that. And did I see Big House, Big Dobson, number 67, doing tackle for the defensive line. It's good to see House in there today. Big guy's coming off with a couple of injuries, returns. Um, he's been with the team for over 21 years. There's a lot of players here, Maz, that have been around for a long time. It's, it's a sport where you can, you know, I'm not going to say play in the latter years, but you can be in it and you can stay in it, you know. It's, it's, it's great to see all shapes and sizes out there on a Sunday getting this exercise. Well, that's not only a sport out there, they're a family. And the ball's handed out to number 36. And once again, the Knights are now reading this London offense defense. It looks like they have gotten the manual because all of these plays have been successful on the first quarter and now are ending up in failure. And that's going to be a loss of some more yardage for the London O's. They're thinking there's a penalty on the on the play, but I think they need to accept. They just got beat. No flag on the play. There was definitely a flag there somewhere. Well, let's take a look here. Ball's handed to 36. He's smothered up there by Freddie. Looks all right to me. Okay, uh, everything looks clean. Oh, he's trying to get uh, up Okay, again. there we go. Now, that could have been a little bit of personal fouls, but uh, looks like it's okay. Uh, back to the action. Third down and long for the London O's. Listen to that Farnham crowd rolling it up out here. Pete too tall, helping to encourage him, and the ball snap. He's looking for some room, but he's finally smothered. He's looking outside, and there, there he is. Blahari has his arms all wrapped around him. Nowhere to go, baby, and nowhere to hide. Big pip number 85 for the Farnham Knights. He comes off from the uh, secondary line, cross field, makes the tackle. And here we go. As you can see, we have the blocking. Go Look, that was holding. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. Number, uh, we have the. I need to have our, our own flags. Can we get a flag? I tell you what, we don't need the flag. We just tell everybody because we know what's happening here. <laughs> As I said, it's so easy from up here. It really is. What a great view. And back to the field. They're going to be marking some yardage off. Let's see here. This is going to be a face mask against a Farnham Knights. Now, that's a very sensitive. Well, those are very, very personal fouls, so I'm going to agree there. You, it's illegal to grab the face mask, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that face mask there in front of the helmet. Once you have a handle of that face mask, you have a handle of the man's upper shoulders, neck, neck, and head. Very dangerous position for that player to be in, along with the back of the helmet. So we don't want to see any of that. So that's going to work uh, negatively against the Farnham Knights. That's going to put the London O's in midfield position. First and 10, London. Yeah, and that's a real shame. I mean, the thing that happened that did was a real shame because London had them on the back foot there. Well, the Farnham Knights had them on the back foot. You're correct. Yeah, that's what I meant. I just didn't say it. <laughs> I'll break you in, Richard. Here we oh, are. You're doing great, First and 10. London in the shotgun position. Okay, we have a flag. We can see we had one of the uh, number 90 for 
for the um, E man. Puts his hands up, says that um, he may have been offside, but he can come back uh, to a neutral position. So as long as he didn't touch that player, let's see what uh, the refs say. Because as you've seen, the London O's moved following that, but they are gonna mark that against Farnham. There's that five yard smart. Uh, it's gonna be uh, first and 10. Yeah, there it was right there. Yeah, that's encroachment, offsides. That'll get him a quick five yards. So all these penalties can eat up. Um, so far, I think we have over 60 yards in penalties against the Farnham Knights. So we want to try to see if they can stop that. I'm sure that Pete's going to have a talk with them in about six minutes about that. Back to the field. First and uh, long five for the London O's. He takes the snap, finds his man. In and out of 27. That ball is incomplete. Oh. Oh, there was no reason that he missed that. He just missed it. Yeah, you know, As you can see right here uh, from the quarterback, he had all the time in the world. It's just a little flop out there. There it is. Into his hand, no pressure, and he just uh, tried to move before it was time. Yeah. We call it here in footprints. Here in footprints, just you've got to keep your eye on the ball until the ball is with you. Exactly. So that's going to give us our second and five. And there we go. London is going to be calling a timeout. We're going to once again take that time to let you know about um, if you want to be a referee, if you want to be a referee, go see their page, www.bafra, that is B-A-F-R-A dot org. That's www.bafra dot org. You too can be on the field helping this great establishment to ref their great players. If you want to be a coach, find out your local um, your local team. Go down and see them. If you're local here in Farnham, come on down here to the field. We'll be more than happy to put you in contact with the team, and you too can be out here next season. Bring the kids along. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwood, Tango Security, Premier Prospects, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our people here at Cheers Mate Productions. Back to the field. And Maz, so basically, like you're saying here, we want to attract players too. This you can come down and see it. And did you know, live streams, footfall increases by 30% year on year. So it's all about putting it out there, all right? But so if you want to play, it doesn't matter. Looking at these lads out here, what shape, size you're in, there's a position for you. That's correct. As you can see, what shape, size you're in, there is a position for you. There's 11 of them, matter of fact, positions yeah. ready for you. But but there's, there's 52 on a roster, your full roster, and you're like, you know, uh, over here we can have more of those, and then we pick and choose them. So, you know, it doesn't matter. You can come down here and play, and as you say, you then become part of the family. Part of the family. Second down for the London O's. Out the shotgun position. He's going to hand it off to his man, number 36. He's looking in for a hole on the outside tackle, and he has some room before he's finally brought down. Oh, if it wasn't for number 38 for the Farnham Knights, he would have had a clear pass all into the end zone. Very calm run. Let's see if we can get that on instant replay again for you. I'll show you here. Ladies and gentlemen, the snap, there it is, number 36. He goes off the outside tackle. Look at number 89. He opens the hole for him. Number 10's opening the downstream hole, and number 38 just got missed out of it. Other than that, that was a clear running, great blocking downfield by the London O's. So it's good blocking rather than missed tackles, because I mean, I'm looking at it from, I think, oh, he's missed it. But they are good blocks, and I'm thinking, look, just go low, just go low. Well, you see that those blocks, they take them out of the play, and that's what they practice then. Yeah. So we, we like to see that, and that means that they're executing. The ball is snapped, we got a whistle blown. Number 38, that's Tom Tane there. For the um, Farnham Knights on that tackle. And there it is, the uh, London O's are now giving out five yard penalty. Bobby, first down, 15 yards for the London O's. We're about into the second quarter of play. Fantastic weather here in Farnham. It's a summer afternoon. It is blazing down here. Play action fake. He hands it off to number one for the London O's. He's looking for some room on the outside before he's finally stuck up there by Pip. That'll be a good gain of a good 14 yards. What a double play action fake if you've seen that one. Um, that was a great play, but there we go. We get some flags. We have a lot of high testosterone 
out there on the field today. It's very hot. It's the middle of summer. They all want the beer. They want the barbecue because that's the weather down here. Get yourself down here because that's what's happening. And they're just like, you know, and David Knight's going to come across. David Knight must be quite tired at the moment because he's doing a lot of like uh, court romantics, as you would say. It, yes, it is. Judicity. Judicity. Bab. Due diligence. Thank you very much. <laughs> if one of us can't get it out, the other can. Yeah, so let's see what Mr. Knight has to say on that ruling. <laughs> well, Rich, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that unsportsmanlike conduct. Getting a little bit fired up can get a flag on you, so. Yeah, and, and I can appreciate it, I can see that, you know, and, uh, and uh, the thing is, I'll be there, right, they're consistent. You know, they're consistent. So you've got no excuse. You know what's going to happen. I still don't agree with the end zone stuff, but the rest of it. Kind of toes the line. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see, Pete's not too happy with it either. <laughs> He's having a good chat with the... Uh, was that, which, which umpire would you call this at the side, ref? Who, uh, that is your line up. Line, line judge, yeah? Yep. Back to the field. London O's are in the red zone. Michael Peacock, number 92 there for the Farnham Knights. He's been with the team quite some bit. Snaps the ball, looks for his receiver on the outside. Oh, Miss Reed. Teflon. Nothing sticks there. <laughs> no, nothing does. <laughs> nothing clear right there. Pass is going to be incomplete. That's going to be second and goal. It's not really second and goal. We'll say second and ten because they're still short of the gorge eyes. The ball is marked on the 12 yard line. Second down. So the Knights have really been putting the pressure on the London O's, I've noticed, when they get into the red zone. I'm seeing some of the best work by the Farnham once they get into the red zone. And number 11 there, Mr. Hayes. Aaron, he's been there with the Knights for quite some time. Season player, and here we go. Back to the field. Second down. He's looking for his man in the middle of the field. Oh. He finds his man. Number nine. What a juggle and what a catch. And that's going to be six points for the London O's. Let's confirm. Uh, do make sure we have no flags in the play. It sounds clear. And we're clear. Do you mean we actually had no flags on a play? No flags on the play. I'm yeah. impressed. Well, please make a note good. of that one today. It, Here we go. It, oh, day. look at that. Well held there. Well held. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, right over the top of the middle. Yeah. Found his man, and the man was clear. Be able to hold the ball, and London O's will be going for the extra tip. Looks like they are going to run it in. Now they're going for a two, two point, points. Two point conversion. There you go, Richard. Hey. I thought you didn't know. I know everything. It's just the, the ability for me and to. And there it is, a two point oh. conversion. Oh, best. That sounds like an instant replay. Is he going again? Well, he surely he dropped the ball. It's all over, isn't it? So if the ball goes behind the line of scrimmage, behind, if the ball is passed behind, backwards it's not a pass right okay okay it's a, it's a layup right so we're gonna see it here so he's passing it back with the, the quarterback nine there is it nine no 16 so he it's throws it backwards there we go so, so that it ball, doesn't it's, matter it's still live right it's still live but some of these Farnham players stop thinking hey up oh, and then they got going again yeah now not too many players understand that role. And as you can see, some of the Farnham players are a little bit confused. Is it live or is it not? Yeah. And But that ball was indeed live, and it's good to play. You play until the whistle is blown is the rule of thumb. So that's going to give us, ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights, 13. London Olympians, 24. We're about 2.25 left in the second quarter of play here in Farnham, Surrey. Sonny Riviera. Farnham, sorry. Well, that depends if all we need is a couple of gin and tonics here. Uh, <laughs> I see what I can sort out, man. Half <laughs> time's Island coming up. Long tea and uh, uh, one of those hula hoops. I'll be good to go. 
And there's that big 58 kicking it off. Big boom, and once again, it's into the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey skidding into the 20. He's gonna go up to the middle. Godfrey is smothered by the London O's. Big 45, nowhere to run on there. A good carry of about 10 yards for Mr. Godfrey. First and 10, Lund Farnham Knights. They'll have the ball marked on about the uh, 26 yard line. So adding into this, coming towards uh, the, what we're gonna call the two minute warning, and that is basically, am I right in saying the let's stop as a reason to stop because we're gonna have an advert and it comes from the NFL, am I right in saying that? Well, the two, two minute warning, well, these are also called. Um, I was corrected by Tom, our producer, that the rules that they are playing um, in the UK are the NCAA uh, college rules from the United States of America. A one moment as Callum fades out, now Bobby needs to the fourth man downfield, nowhere to run, and he's smothered. Big, huge loss of yardage by the Knights. Oh, he is covered up, nowhere to run by Callum. He takes a few steps back, and next minute, the London O's. Secondary are all over him. That is going to push Knights back a good seven yards. It's going to be second down and long. So at that point there, why didn't he try the pass? We go for incomplete and we go back where it was. Because he must have known he... There's two different options. Sometimes it's best just to keep the devil from no and then throw the devil from no. Don't throw right, okay. Yeah, but you, you lost a lot of yards there. That's what I'm saying. You could have lost more if you were thrown into the offense. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 There, but yeah. Just go for the touchline. And Callum has learned. He's coming out the shotgun. He's looking for his man, and he's... Oh! Number 87 for the Farnham Knight pass was intended for, and it is incomplete. Great throw there by Callum. That was intended by, to uh, Robert Jameson. And there it is. Beautiful throw there, right in the hands. Beautifully led there, keeping it out the hands of the uh, safety, number three of the London O's. Um, the ball was just in and out. That's going to be second down. Great play by the Farnham Knights. So NCAA, we don't have a too many warning. Yes, we do. Well, I missed it. Well, we, yeah, it's going to be on the ref pretty soon. We'll pick up the time from the ref, and he will let us know when it's going to be Farnham line is picking up. Mr. Junior is coming off the right side. around the neck, Gain of about five yards. That's a clean tackle by the Lundino. Junior takes a couple players down with him, and that will be midfield position still for the Knights. And here's that play for you. Junior coming off, looking at the block, he off the right tackle there. And he was looking for a bigger hole, so we were looking for a little bit more blocking downfield by Alexi. Uh, trying to open it up. Uh, I'll we'll turn that round. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Special teams. It's going to be yeah, punting for the Farnham Knights. Like great punt there. Long. The ball is up. And it looks like it went out of bounds. That will be a fly. It's out of bounds. So they'll bring that out. Uh, 10 yards for the Farnham Knights. So if you kick straight out of touch then, that's good. No. Because So what we want to do is you have to when you kick the ball off and you want to be able to keep the ball in play. Yeah, but if it goes straight out, then that's go, where that's where they get the ball from. Well, if they kick if they kick the ball completely the whole length of the field through the end zone on a front. I'm talking to the, to the sideline. Oh, no. Like he just did there. No. So he kicked to the sideline. So isn't the ref now is placing the ball? Wow, we have two minutes. Two minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. So, so that's better than what it was. So, you know, the right, the right. <laughs> so Farnham have now just gained about 30 yards. Yeah. 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 
Catches it, he hits it. They got it like surely. What you're doing is you're, you're going, they're going to hit it, he's going to catch it, so I'm going to hit him. So you've got to be out there. So literally, that ball touches his hands. You're hitting him, or you've got to go for the ball. What you can't do, watch air traffic control, wait you into his hands, and then because you're not going to be ready for it. That is correct. <laughs> Richard, I like, I like your synopsis of it, but it, once again, it's a lot easier said than done when you're on the field. So easy from up here. It's so easy. And we'll be taking a timeout moment there, and we'll take this time to once again <coughs> thank our sponsors. www.backward.org is the place you want to go if you want to be, if you want to be with these coaches or the refs here with the Knights or at your local team. Hey, Rick Wood, Tango Security. Your prospects, LT Sports, True Blaze, Windows and Conservancies, and us here at Cheers Bait Production. Thank you so much for watching the game. We're going to have a review of a lot more through the season from the home field here at Monk Lane Arnold Rugby Stadium. All right, baby face, next play. Get yeah, scoring update, London Olympia 24, Farnham oh, Knight 13. Pretty soon as we start to wind down to the second quarter. Trying to get tough, ain't it? Go line, go line! Oh, it's First goal, and it goes. Alex, come to you. Defense! 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 Oh! 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 Unfortunately, there were 22 knights got wound up a little bit too much in the strike. Oh, 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 oh. That is going to be an obvious pass interference. That is power. It is power. And here's a play from our, our uh, Hammond. There it is. As you can see, Powers is all over him. He did not make the call. That is, that is so pass interference. That should be a stop. Yes, that's your that's your coaching manual. Pass interference. That is it. That is the it just shows that. That's good defense. Hey, Mike! Oh, 
comes in, oh, and hands it right off to him. And then a the hole opens up. That and ball opened right on up, and he stepped right in. Very good technique by both teams. That yep. was a good example of opening the hole. And what he Come. did there, he looked nice and just gave the referee and said, thank you very much. And he said to himself, well done. And uh, congratulated himself. So at this level, with the score like it is, what's the point in going for the two points? Is it because it's just more practice? Well, there's two things that you need to be able to consider. Do you have the ability to get the one point? Do you have confidence in your field kicker? Right. Or do you have more confidence in your team to run it? At this time, I feel that the London Olympians coach have more confidence that they can run the ball in than to uh, kick the field goal. Okay, that's fair enough. That yep. says it all. If you I haven't got it, don't use it. Exactly. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. Well, that's, that usually happens in the game here. And you want to be able to use your best players, but you want to be able to use your best uh, players in the best plays to be able to execute and make those points on the board. And speaking of points on the board, your scoring update. Barnum Knights 13, London O's 30. As we say, winding down the second quarter of play. Coming close to halftime, there's the big man, number 60, 78, who will be kicking it off for the London Olympians. Left side ready and right side ready. Mr. Godfrey back to receive for the Farnham Knights. And there it is, right to the lovely hands of Godfrey. Boom, and he has the ball, taking it down about the 15. He's going to look for some midfield position. He's coming out to the right side. Godfrey is putting the two shots. There's those wheels from Missouri. Godfield's breaking tackles before he's trying to get. Ran out about at the 44-yard line. Midfield, great return from Godfrey Farnham Knights. That's the Godfrey I know. That was class play there. Let's see it again. Look at this. Called it. Now, this right here is what you call season. He can there push it, put his blocker there, and watch him run. Does a cut here, a cut there, follows the big man there, number DC, 57. And now it's a foot race to the outside. Who's faster? And as you can see, when Godfrey puts the wheels on, it is all over but the crime. The fat lady was warming up at that point. You said that right. Barnum Knights, beautiful midfield position. Callum Brown taking the ball from the shotgun position. Ready, ready, go. We have a snap, and it looks like we have some movement. Let's get the official ruling from David Knight on the field. I think he's, he needs a break. I, d I think he needs to look a little bit more like, okay, not me again. I don't know if it's hurting him as much yeah, as it hurts exactly. Knight, but yeah. I feel his compassion on that one. <laughs> And here we go, that from that play, we'll see a little bit of movement happening here from the offense. And there it is. So you can see the defense can move. The defense yeah. is very flexible. Second down, 
15. Excuse me, first down, 15. Play action fake, he's gonna toss it off, whoa! He tosses it off for a lateral pass. That is going to be down by Callum. Callum felt the pressure there from the London O's, trying to get rid of the ball real quickly before that uh, line once again wraps their loving arms around him. And here it is. Play action there to Freddie. And then we try to toss it to Freddie, and then unfortunately, both of those. Yeah, but at 44, and all of his sleeve before the ball got to him, so that's pass interference. From up here, the once again, very easy. Well, that, no, that wasn't a pass. Yeah. That, in order to be a pass, it has to go past the line. Okay. And that's where the ball is. But it's a very good question. We'll come back to that during halftime. And the ball is handed off to Junior. Junior's looking for some room on the outside right tackle. He's going to pull a couple of players. A good gain of about a yard, yard and a half. That's going to bring them back up to the uh, chains at least, so they won't be in a deficit. That's going to be third down. He said two seconds. I think he said two seconds. I've got four, so that makes me pretty damn unaccurate. Well, two and four, half the distance. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Listen. Here comes Callum after having a brief conversation with the head coach, Pete Too Tall Fields. Third you know down why it's called Too Tall? I'm all ears. Exactly. <laughs> He's too tall. <laughs> Third down. Barnum Takes the snap, takes the pocket, looks for his man in the midfield, intended for number 87. That pass is incomplete. And that should be half time if he did say two seconds. But it's not, so he didn't. I'm still looking to see some action from Vinny, number 21. I heard that that man has will, so hopefully in the second quarter, uh, Farnham might put him in there. We might see a little bit of action there. Fourth down, Farnham are going to keep the ball. Callum is fading back. He's looking long. He's looking uptown. Oh, he overreads his receiver. Intended for Godfrey and Junior, pass incomplete. That's going to turn the ball over. First to 10, London O's are going to take the ball at the own 37 yard line. And back to the field. So we were just having a little bit of an internal discussion. Was that the right play to call for a fourth down? Still in the uh, first half of play. Well, I think that's the first half of play. Uh, 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 how far that clock is, it's a big play. Under the nose, number two, he's got a shotgun position. The ball is snapped, he hands it off to the big man, 49, and he finds a big hole right up the middle. Oh, oh go low. Oh, he's gonna low. Slip on and he's dragging the player. He's got, a, he's got a flag on the play. The big man, you know they should hear you, they need to hit him low. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't need to hit him on his shoelaces. He's exactly. So, yeah, he, uh, he is a big man, number 49. He was taking a couple of nights with him. Let's see what the official ruling on that flag is going to be for that penalty. His lips correctly. Very good. Mr. Tom reading his lips there. Once again, he is talking about that. Red penalty. 
Let's see if we can pick that up here. We have a snap there, 42. Now he first gets hit. There we go. There it is right there. There's Pip. There it is. We get a spot at the culprit. We'll bring that to the We'll get back to the action. He's looking for a snap. He's coming. He has a number 18. Oh, there he goes. Quarterback takes it out to the top position. 18 wide receiver goes right down the left line, and he's there waiting for the letter. And he finds his hand. Six points. Let's see if we can show you this again, Richard. Three man out wide. There's the set play. And this goes to the and that is a play well executed. That's what they practice all day long, and when they put it in the end zone, that's a success. So we're going to have the extra point now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, give him a little bit of credit here. We're going to see if he can yes, do it. Yes, a kicker. And I think yes. And that and one's good. And they got a good kicker as well. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get to your scoring update. Part of night, 13. London Olympians 37. We are still in the second quarter of play before we get the uh, final whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, and that is your halftime. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is your halftime play here. Your scoring updates. Barnum Knights, 13. London Olympians, 37. We'll leave you with the word from our sponsors. DNA Brickwork, Tango Security, Premier Possible, Sports, True Blade, Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Productions. We will be back to you after the halftime with more footage on our live. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Juri kur pinto kvalitatë në filmë. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of gameplay as we bring you the Farnham Knights hosting the London Olympians. And we're on the second half of kickoff. Uh, ball's picked up by Godfrey. Godfrey is looking for the middle. Scrambling for some little holes before he's wrapped up by the London O. A gain of about five yards. London, Farnham Knights will take the ball on their own 27-yard line. Well, I got Mr. Tom with me. I take it, my breath. 
took the production manager and he brought him over here to the commentating with me. Tom, how are you doing today? Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I was a bit frustrated throughout the entire first half of hearing Richard and his dulcet tones <laughs> and not understanding the game, so I decided to take over. Well, Tom used to play the game for a bit, so he's more than happy to sit in here and we'll be more than happy to hear his input as we go through the second half of the game. This is going to be a good, exciting. Let's give you a scoring update. Barnum Knights 13, London Olympians 37. Third quarter of play, and we have number four, Callum, for the Brown. He has it off to Junior. Junior's looking for some outside room on the outside. He's finding some room. Good gain of about six yards by Junior Sequala. Excellent play there. see there. Farnham doing well to get outside. Olympians losing contain. Decent gain. Very decent gain, Tom. That's what we like to see as they move the chains. That's going to be second down. We're going to call that a long six. Here comes DC and the London O. from number 50, handling the snap for Callum, handling the ham. He's gonna take the ball, he runs out the pocket, Callum's looking downfield for his man, he finds his man. It's caught by 87. That's gonna be a pass uh, reception, that's what we like to see. Simple out from the tie end, fakes the block. Excellent hands. Right into Jameson. Jameson looking for some room before he's brought down by number three of the London O. That's going to move the chains. First and ten, Farnham Knights. And here comes Callum Brown with the Farnham Knights. Got Freddie number 27 and Junior 42 in the backfield. Ball's handed off to Junior. Junior finds a hole on the outside of DC. He needs to go for some room. And it's the sprint before he, oh! A little stutter step there by Junior, and he has to pull up short. Right out of bounds, what a play and what a block. Look at Big 58 as he opens the hole. Excuse me, that's Big 58. They're opening that hole for him. And there is Junior all the time. That man runs like Singletary. Look at that before he has to pull up short. <laughs> Did you see how big that hole was? That hole was big enough Huge. to even put a Twinkie through. untouched. <laughs> that was John Healy, number 58, with that good block by the Farnham. Knights O-line. That's going to move the chains once more. That's going to be first and ten. Look at the Knights go. Play action fake. They hand it off to Junior. Junior's beating up the offensive line as he makes another scramble for another six yards. Sequala is on the move for Farnham on the third quarter of gameplay. Oh, geez, Tom, what do you think of that one? This guy's finding grass, man. Honestly. Six-yard gain made it look simple. Look at, look at the tailback comes through the hole by Freddie. Great running there by Junior. We got a little flag there on the play. It looks like we're taking a timeout. We'll take that time there, Tom. Better thank some of our sponsors here. <laughs> keeping us live and keeping us streaming to you. We'd like to thank uh, DNA Brickwork, Tango Security, Premier Prospects, LT Sports. True Glaze Windows and Conservatories and Cheers Mate Productions. You know, I like that and I want to say to you guys, cheers mate. <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah, Richard, in the, as you may have heard in the first half, loves that name, Cheers Mate. Well, here comes the Farnham Knights. Oh, they are feeling very officious, I shall say. Number 84 on the wide receiver lines up out there. Ball snapped, handed off to Godfrey. Godfrey's bouncing off some room before he's finally brought down. Gain of a couple of yards. We got Godfrey in the backfield today. And Quick pitch out. So does Godfrey play at wide receiver, tight end usually? Yeah. Ought to see him in the backfield. Well, we get Godfrey on special teams. Godfrey is a runner. He's been running for the Knights right, oh, golly, right. at least 10 years. So yeah. he's played all of those positions from wide receiver to right. tailback, yeah. defense, defensive quarterback, um, special teams return. Every so phase of the a game, very yeah. valuable member to yeah. the family of the Farnham Knights here. Now third down. 
Third down, long five for the Knights as they're moving the ball into London O territory. Jamison lined up on the far right. Godfrey far left. Freddie in the backfield. Stays in the pocket. He's looking for his man up front. Oh, wait a minute. We get a bump there on Godfrey, intended for Godfrey. Good defensive work by number 54. We got a clean plane on that. Tom, that was a nice, good play, though. Uh, Luke, um, Colin was looking for his man downfield. He had all the time in the pocket. Yeah. There's no flags on that. Did you say there was a bump? I didn't see that. Well, you know, I seen the bump by the defense, number 54, but it wasn't. didn't look uh, enough to cause a penalty. He didn't inhibit uh, Godfrey's ability to catch the ball, so no pass interference on that one. I don't know. Looks like Dick Knight may call it. Five minutes backfield. Okay. <laughs> That's not the first time that penalty's been called on fire. No, nope, that's the second time, we have, second time we've had too many men in the backfield. Now, you'll notice some of the wide receivers, when they line up and, um, and they are intended to be in the backfield, they will check with the line ref to see if they are lined up correctly. It looks like uh, we didn't get the right one on that one. Too many men in the backfield. We can only allow four men in the backfield, and that makes five. Mm. Is that just simply a player just standing off the line just a bit too far? Just yeah. a little bit too far yeah. um, off the line, and that uh, made him eligible to be in the backfield, and that will give you uh, yeah. a play. And as you can see right there, uh, Jameson is letting the ref know I am part of the backfield mm -hmm. along with um, – uh, number 84 there. We got a play action fake by Gollum. Uh, Callum is looking for some room. He finally gets snuffed up on that fourth down play. He runs through the middle, gain of a couple of yards. That looks like it's going to hand the ball over to the London O's. Yeah, didn't see anything tucked and run. What else can you do really in this situation? No, uh, as that pressure came in, there, uh, Freddie can only hit one. We have two coming in from the, both the line and the first secondary, the middle linebacker. And so him, he had nothing to do. I think that was a great call and a great, a great choice for him to just yeah. keep the ball and keep the ball down there in the no position. I mean, it does well. It does well to gain yardage, but I don't want my QB to take hits like that straight into a linebacker. No, no. We want to try to protect them through the season. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't want them to be on the injured reserve list. No. So that's going to give London the, the ball back. It's going to be in their deep position. Um, let's see if uh, Farnham can tame them down there or if London O can move the chains. And they're going to be taking it back in the shotgun position. And as you notice that the London Olympians have two sets of secondary. Um, and there the ball pitches off to number 27. And he has nowhere to run before he is snuffed up by the Farnham Knights. Nowhere to go, baby. A negative yardage for the London O's. Tom. Great play. Great play. Keep him contained there. Not allowing the, the, sorry, the running back to bounce outside. Uh, you can see how Farnham is reading that they're not completely um, committing and they're keeping themselves in the zone. And there is Freddie, number 27. He, he got him on defense right now, too. He comes in, wraps his hands around him, and uh, once again, number 27 for the London O's. He has nowhere to go but down, down, down. Great play by the D-line. Keep contained there, and then the linebacker's filling. That's going to be second down and long. London O's spread out again. Man looks at the pocket. He's looking for the outside. Oh! Oh! oh Double O, oh, that's yeah. going to be a penalty. Yeah, that was a bit needed. I don't want to hypothesize, but to me, Tom, that's looking like a personal foul on number 23, a late hit. Even after it's done, here it is for you. All day. I mean, this is, is, that, is that must be frustration or or the blinkers are on or something. I, I don't well, know. Well, <laughs> Tom, we either, we're going to call it the blinkers are on. <laughs> yeah. You know, the blinkers are on for all the players out there. You know, <laughs> once again, that's that testosterone. Now they're ready for battle, and their knights are ready to uh, rumble. So we need to just rein that in a little bit and keep within the sport parameters. Yeah, maybe the slow motion made it look a bit worse than it actually was. No, Tom. No, okay. It was bad. No, fair enough. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> Now uh, that's 30 yards on Andy Gillard this game himself. So frustrating after a decent few downs there from the defense. Really frustrating. Yes, it can, but you know, if they stay strong and they understand that it is a penalty, uh, they can bounce back, but this helps the London O to motivate and get them now in great field position um, for the Farnham Knights. So let's take it back to the field. See, the Olympians have been in gun almost every single snap. They like that space. He's trying to get that little bit of space, and they utilize that when they're handing the ball off and passing to the flanks left and right. Once again, he looks in the pocket. He's nowhere going. to go. The goes. pressure is on. He breaks the tackle on number 16. He's oh. the QB, and he's got a good gain of a good 25 yards. That's going to be a first down move to change for the London O. 
So the, pad, the, the play did get broken up, as you can see, so he decides to run. Now, if you notice in the first half, he is in, uh, one of the, the tailbacks for the one that knows. Mm. So he knows how to run the ball, and he runs it with spirit and courage. Excellent athleticism there. Running straight up the gut, duking players. And still staying on his feet. Staying on his feet, well, gaining have done that 25 about, yards. Oh, well, I could have done it 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a yard a year. The yeah, days yeah. are over. And back to the fill. That's going to move the chains. The ball is going to be marked on the 25-yard line, first and 10 for the London O. And as they come out, quarterback uh, is now still number 16. Uh, once again, we do apologize. We have un been unable to obtain their roster throughout the game. So um, we hope you do understand. Freddie, uh, middle linebacker, along with Valari for the Farnham Knights. And we have a timeout called. It looks like quarterback didn't like what he's seen from the Farnham Knights setup there. So he wanted to uh, not, not go back and talk to the coach and see if they can pull up a different play. We're going to take that time to once again thank our sponsors here. Uh, we're getting a lot of feed from a lot of you viewers out there. We thank you. Keep putting in that information. Um, keep talking to us, and we'll keep talking to you. We got more people wanting to know, how can I be a rep? How can I be a coach? How can I be a part of my community and be a player too? www.bafra.org is where you need to go. That's www.bafra.org. You go there. Look up your local team. Be a part of you community. Bring the children. We would love to see you here. We'd like to see you here in Farnham also. Back to the field, first and 10, London O's. Man in motion for the London O's. He sinks in the pocket, looks for that same man, and the ball is out wide. Pass is incomplete. Wide receiver, never got his head turned there. No, uh, Appleford was on it, and it looks like he just didn't give him enough room to, to flank a little bit downfield before he threw it. I don't think it was the pressure, or it could have been. Well, wide receiver does well to get a hand to that, so that's just not a pick six right there. Yeah, that's very good. Very good premonition and very good ball plan. And here he comes with another play from the sidelines. Second and ten. London Olympians, uh, Farnham Knights are holding them really strong. I see that we have number three out there on the defensive line for the Farnham Knights trying to contain them. That is Jack Tough. Tough to be tough. Snap. He's looking for his man downfield on the left side. And once again, he finds him. The ball is in and out. Instant replay. Well, at least he took it. Uh, took our advice. He waited a little bit longer until he got downfield, as you can see on the snap. He holds off into the pocket, and he has all the time to look for his man down there. And there it is, a little bit short, in and out. Pass is incomplete. Good attempt there. Good Very coverage close. there from the Farnham Knights, number 38. down third down and, and 10. he hands it off to number 27 on the play action and then we got a whistle blown we got a whistle blown Must there by start, Mr. yeah Knight. i'll start here on the line judge <laughs> Let's see if we can see that tom what's wrong with that couldn't really see it live I think 61 may jump I early. I think I had the pulling, the pulling yeah. guard. He moved a little bit too soon. Yeah. He moved a little bit too soon. Um, out of position there. And that's going to cost the London O five yards. That's probably the clearest one I've seen all day. Yes, it is. A lot yes. of the Farnham, Farnham ones were quite hit or miss. Yeah. Yes, yes, it was. Is it true or, or not? Yeah. Hands will be with the hops of the line refs on the field. Well, that was either interception or just catching a fumble. 
Let's see if it's at the back of the hand. Well, that was caught there by uh, Mike Peacock. Let's see what happens. Pressure straight in the face from the linebacker. Brilliant play. That's Interception, great. head on a swivel. Fantastic stuff from the D-lineman. Great, 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 great stuff there. And Alexi showing his excitement there, number 69. That's going to be first and 10 for the Farnham Knights as they start to put the pressure on the second quarter, of, uh, third, third quarter of play on the London Olympians. That was a timely turnover from Farnham. That was needed. I'm sure really that was it needed. was. And here is Callum Brown for the Knights. Once again, it's the junior, junior oh, falling short. Trips in trips the backfield. Over. Here we can see it on the instant replay. Junior would have had a great hole there open on, on DC side of the line. Number 57, there he is. He locks in, they double team up. Look at them pull that what big guy, 64. Look at them pull that defensive lineman. Could have got decent yardage there oh, if it wasn't good. for the yeah. untimely trip. I saw the chains. Yeah. I saw the chains. Yeah. It's a nice block. <laughs> So Freddie playing both phases of the ball on the last play on the turnover, pressure on the QB and getting a good block on that last run. And here he is on the offense, and here's He'll the ball back again. to Junior. Junior is looking to the outside, trying to outrun number 54, the linebacker that's coming in. He's going to have a short gain of about a yard. That's going to be, and we have some flags. Flags on the outside line um, at the time of the tackle. Maybe it was a hold getting pushed so far outside. You know, either that or it could be roughness. Well, let's, let's get the official there from David Knight on the field as he talks to his umps and line judges. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Somebody help me here. <laughs> what is it? You're right. There it You're is. Right, that personal foul. Well, that's going to bring it up. 15 automatic first down. The the, the change the the change change for <laughs> the Farnham Knights. And we can see it clearly right here, Tom. Over see, to you. He gets bounced outside. He's, it's really designed to go uh, straight into the straight through the line but gets bounced outside and just is it late on the ref even well i didn't see the ref with the number he didn't yeah, have can we ball. just see that again yeah just nice and quick 42 gets bounced outside 54 it doesn't seem too late or maybe he's the late hit on from number 40 there he's already there lost. it is yeah. there it is there it is yeah. and back to live action on the field that ref took a hit though <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the risk for, uh, yeah. <laughs> once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take that risk, www.bafra.org. <laughs> Not exactly the best advert there, yeah. <laughs> Back to play. That's going to be a ball mark. First and 10, midfield. Pitches to Junior. Junior's looking for some block, and he finds a different hole. Now he gets another cut to the left side in the foot race. Oh, big hit there by 66. Looks like Junior may have a first down. Let's find out. He is finding room in this second half. Yes, he is. And Thomas Outway just posts himself up there <laughs> like, if anybody's coming, let it be the circular line. <laughs> I am not moving. And here's Excellent that cut. Play. Look at that beautiful cuts footwork. A, yeah, cuts back across the grain. Makes man miss. And it's a foot race right there. Look at that. And Outway. <laughs> Only in American football, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, second in a, and about one, a long one for the Farnham Knights as they start rolling themselves into the red zone, slowly but surely. Callum lined up. Hands it off to That's Junior. It. Junior is looking for another foot race on the outside. Junior's gonna put his head down and go right into number 26 and 14, 21. For the London O's, another still gain, short gain. Looks like he will have the first down. That's moving the chains, and here it is. Put a lot of work in for that one yard. Oh, look at this work. Look at He cuts in, keeps it in play, and now it's about power and power. That's it. Falls forward for the Grinds yards. Grinds that other two yeah. yards. I don't know if that's courage under fire or just courage, but ah. <laughs> I'm going to let these youngsters do it for now. Back to the game. First <laughs> and 10, Farnham Knights on the 
Ball's marked on the 30-yard line. Callum taking the snap. Once again, feeds the pill to Junior. Junior stiff offering, and he's trying to raise it. It looks like he made a loss to yard. Uh, 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 sorry about that. <laughs> lost a yard or two, yeah. Lost a yard or two. Great sportsmanship there by the London Nose to offer to help to pick him up. Yeah, Let's absolutely. Look at that game, that play. Looks like the hole's straight up, supposed to be straight up the gut, but yeah. closed off for him, and yeah, has to bounce outside. And he's not getting any room there from 54. Yeah, that tackle hole that uh, on, on the right side, four hole didn't open up, so yeah, it was just go around for the six and yeah. um, look for some room once again. Negative yardage. That's going to be second down, second and eight. Barnum in the, in the high position. Freddie Jr. in the backfield. He, oh, Callum knew that was not the right way to throw it to Junior. He got a little bit overexcited. Let's look at that play again from Callum. Another missed opportunity there. Pretty simple play to just throw it out to the flat. Yeah, it was a very simple play. He knew it came up. Now yeah. look at the threads. The threads are okay. Just rushes. He just, just rushed it a little yeah. bit too much. Yeah. Uh, something that's so simple can be so difficult. The pressure that they are feeling from back there. I mean, even if it's not coming, you still think the train is on its way. Yeah. I haven't seen too many throws that have come out exactly as I imagine he wanted to come out today, but that was definitely one he wants to have back. Yes, he does. And as we go right back to gameplay, we have third and uh, long eight for the Farnham Knights. And timeout call for the Farnham Knights. Callum didn't know, didn't like what he saw there, so he had a little bit of change. Let's see if he goes and converses with Pete. There he is. Tango and Pete, our head coach, Pete Too Tall. Tango out there also, one of the players and head coaches for the Farnham Knights. Um, almost about three decades with Tango's been part of the Farnham Knight family. Mm -hmm. So I see you've got a big roster in front of you there. How big is the Farnham roster? Well, I, I'm going to say that um, we have uh, over uh, 52 players on the roster today that are playing. Right. Uh, the Farnham Knights, they do keep a very large roster. Uh, and um, they have a lot of players that are sponsored that are coming from um, wide and far to come and play down here in Farnham. Mm -hmm. And so they have a very good privilege of having uh, the ability to pick from their roster uh, for their game. So they're in a very good uh, position. As you can see, they are not locking any players to be able to pull from on the bench today. Right. And it is Callum on the snap. Callum is looking for his man downfield again, and he's looking for it, and he finds it. Well, let's see, is that Godfrey? Yep, I knew it. Godfrey comes off on the right side, and once again gets that quick snap from Callum. Callum had great pass protection. Look at the offensive line. Look at that. Oh, if only my insurance protected me like that. That's more <laughs> like it from the QB. <laughs> Under duress, still gets the ball out. Nice spiral on it. Good hands from the receiver. Decent gain for the first down. Oh, is it still fourth down? Oh yeah, My apologies. Still My down. apologies. They came a little bit short, though, but it looks like the Knights are going to be going for it. Now, let's just take a look at the game. I think it's about time. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> about time they did in the first half. As we have the ball in the red zone. Ball snap. Oh, it's handed off to Junior. Junior once again stuttering on his own speed, but it looks like he has the first down. I think he might just be short. The ref. Well, let's see where he's going to down the ball. lines. Yeah. It's a miracle this play even got started. Honestly. Well, it got <laughs> broke up. Look at the blitz came in on yeah. Callum, wrapped him up, and then Junior. I don't know if he downshifted <laughs> or what, but he got maybe. a little bit, uh, a little bit too much torque. Maybe his feet got stuck in the sand there. Well, sand's not made to be stuck. <laughs> it was made to be <laughs> run over up. <laughs> but it looks like yeah, they are going to mark it. Are they going to mark that a first down? Yeah, I think they have. Or no, they are not. They, that is handing over the ball. London knows. I can see Valari and the defense coming in. There's Gillard. We have Appleford. Uh, we have Freddie, big 92. We have E-Man, big 99. We've got Powers. Yep, that is the Farnham defense, and they are looking hungry. Number two on the uh, London O offense on the quarterback, taking the ham, coming out the shotgun position. 
Ball is snapped. He's looking far to the right. He finds his man. Oh, number 10. And there is nowhere to go before he is finally picked up. Once again, the Knights are reading these plays. Tom, your view. Short gain there. You, like you're right. Really quick to the ball there. Really quick to the receiver. No room to run after the catch. And the containment on that right side where the O's are really favoring is being read and picked off by Gillard in the secondary. Great speed to the ball there. Brilliant. Much better fun in this half than they were the first, if I might say. Well, you can say because we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're out there, and here we are. Second down. Shotgun. He's looking for his man up the middle. He finds him number, number 80. Short gain of about two yards. As you see, he takes the snap out here. Number 80 comes from the left side, comes over to the middle, and there he is. Right in front of Powers. Powers and Blari lock him up. Nice and clean, and he is down. Short gain. That's going to be third down. Third down, long six for the London Olympians. And here comes their London O. Alexi, 69 on the nose tackle. E-man, number 90, Valari, they are lined up. Powers on the right side. Ball is snap. Quarterback's looking downfield. He's looking far to the left, and there's nobody there. Number 10 was covered there by number 25, Powers. He wasn't going anywhere. Number two, 22 also had him covered. Nowhere to go. Excuse me, that is 25, Appleford, and number 22. Looks like number 10 just loses the ball in midair there, gets himself spun around. and Yeah, he does, he does. Never gets a chance for that. But he kept running, he kept running. Number 22 is Powers Emmett on that play also. That's going to be a fourth down uh, situation here for the London O. They're leading uh, 37 to 13, third quarter. Their decision is to... Punch the ball. Balls up, back to receive for the Farnham Knights. Poison! Poison, poison! And that ball is going to bounce inbound, roll out bounds, so they're going to mark it where it hit. Good punt. Very good punt. Targeted very well, Tom. Yeah, no, ch see. no chance of returning that right, right at the corner. Very Where's well done. Out? There it is. The, around the 27 If he had about line. 10 more yards on there, I would say that would have been a perfect punt. The perfect punt, yeah. And here comes the London O. Uh, and the Farnham Knights, Farnham Knights, uh, offensive line led by David uh, DC. That's David Carpenter. He's been out there with them. Once again, they are follow the leader, number 59. He's out there. <laughs> 59, baby face, our baby face Nelson. Junior, Junior cuts back after finding the hole. He's finally brought down by number 21, the safety for the London O's. Junior found a nice little spot there. Cuts on the left side, here it is. Freddie opens up hole. He makes a secondary cut, comes in. A little bit of the foot race, and if it wasn't for 21, it would have been another, another gain of at least 20 yards. Junior's finding space. He is, he's o -line. to find his room and his space there against this. London O offense. That O line is opening holes. They really are. And they're moving the chains. And there is Junior for the first down. And he's looking for more. And Junior's breaking him on the right side. A stiff arm and he's run out of bounds. And he's going over to the 32 yard line of the London Olympians. That is definitely going to move the chains down. Let's take another look at that plate. Tom, your thoughts. Beautiful. Junior's taking over this half. Excellent play here. Big hole for Junior to run through from this o line, the left side of your line. Untouched through the line, runs away from the D line, runs away from the linebackers, and it's a foot race from there to the sideline. What a play. That's going to move the chains down. First and 10, Barnum Knights. Ball's on the London Nose 34. It's 
it off to Junior. Junior's looking for a place up the middle. No, he decides to do another cutback on the left side. Oh, he's finally brought down by number 58. 59 of the London O's tripped up in the backfield. Nowhere to run. That's going to be a loss of yardage for the Knights. And what's your take on that one, Tom, as we look back at the play? We can just wait. Yeah, <laughs> wait for this snap. Looks like a design pitch outside, but the O's stuffed that right at the start of it. Does well to be able to cut back, but just too much. And it's tackled in the end. Too Almost. much containment by the London O's. Almost breaks it. A lot of space on that left-hand side. Loss of a few yards for the Farnham Knights. That's going to be second down. Second and 14. Callum takes a snap. It's in the pocket. He's looking for Godfrey on the far right side. He oh! Overled Godfrey. Otherwise, that would have been six all day long. See here, he gets through his progression, but just rushes it. Never really gets set, and an inaccurate real ball, really. He was never really going to hit the target with that stance. No, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Football almost doesn't count. I guess you got to get it into his hand. Yeah. So we're going to say on that one, pass incomplete. A for effort. Third down, third and fourteen. Farnham Knights, London O, containing them both sides. There he is, he's found Godfrey in and out of Godfrey's hands. Oh, that's the third, uh, second incomplete pass today by Godfrey that has been in and out of his hands today. Uh, let's take a look back on that, Tom, your view. It's really frustrating, he had a chance here to take this ball and he's got, he's got a bit of daylight there just before the safety's closed it up. <laughs> bit of daylight. A tiny bit of daylight. Bit, that looked like Venice to me. <laughs> really frustrating as he had a really good completion earlier so the special team for Farnham will come out in a big big punch high up in the end. and it almost went backwards the ball takes a, uh, a, a very bad bounce lands in number 40's hands with London oh he's finally down by number 87 for the Farnham Knights, and that will give London O the possession of the ball. That ball looked like it went back. Yeah, Help me, it, it, it Did looks, that go backwards in the air? <laughs> it looks like he tries to get more elevation on it so that it doesn't go into the end zone. But in the end, he ends up kicking it straight up in the air. That sounds like one of my <laughs> golf shots. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep this football for right now. <laughs> yes, Tom, that does sound like one, like one of my golf shots. And here we are. That looks like that's going to be the third quarter of play. Is that correct? Or are we on a timeout? Can we get an official time there from the production manager? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a running clock um, going on today. As you know, we have just changed quarters, so that was the end of the third quarter. We are in the fourth quarter of play. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights, 13. London Olympians, 37. 15 minutes of game play left. 15 minutes of heart, blood, sweat, and soul on this field. Let's take this field. First and 10, London O.
That does look like that's going to be some yards against the London O's. And here's the official point. Okay, we're going to reap. Come on, dude! If you've ever wanted to do something in your life, and somebody says, can you just do it over? Well, this is that opportunity. So, uh, there is no uh, ruling on the play. We're going to replay the down. First and 10, let it know. Takes another shotgun. Looking for his players up there. He finds a man across, across the middle, number 80. And he has a good gain of about 12 yards. It's going to be first and 10 as they move the chains down. So on that snap, we had the uh, wide receiver come from the left side over to the middle. It's almost like the wide receiver didn't want to catch that one. If you were the wide receiver catching the ball in the middle, you wouldn't want to either. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a lot of heart um, to be a wide receiver or a tight end because where the balls are going to be thrown, um, you're not going to be alone. Yeah, you're going to have safety looking right exactly. at you. Exactly. So it's just like about a, a blind spot, a collision. You are going to get hit. You're not going to see where it's coming from. It takes a lot of courage and heart to concentrate on the ball. If you wonder why they dropped the ball, we understand why. First and 10, London O's. Quarterback sneak, he's looking for Run some option. room. He does an option play to number 45, the big fullback, and uh, he had some steam. Good to good gain of about eight yards on the on the option play. I haven't seen an option done all day today. No, that's, that's the first the time. First option. Considering they're in gun almost every single play, I would have thought that'd be a few more. And there it is to the big 49 fullback. And you can see he starts to pull that weight with him and that momentum, and it's going to take a few uh, night times to bring him down. Good gain of about eight yards. I feel like Farnham have just lost a little bit of momentum on defense. They were really getting to every ball and not hit, not losing their contain on every single play for the third quarter. Well, Tom, I, I, I think as soon as they get into the red zone, we start seeing the defense really turn it on from Farnham. So I think right, they yeah, build yeah. the pressure. And I think they uh, execute, they respond to it. Um, as such, um, and here we are back in the field. Quarterback's back in the pocket. He's looking up field to the left side. He's got a man there all day long, and both of them were missed. Oh, number 80, number 10 were all there. Had the wide receiver, I mean, had the cornerbacks both beat on Farnham, um, but the ball was just a little bit overthrown. Let's take another look at it. It must be a, someone's run the wrong, run the wrong route here. What it looks like. So he's got two men to choose from, and he can't, can't get either of them. Well, they were all there to get the mail. <laughs> Letter just came a little short. <laughs> no, it's just a overthrown. <laughs> That's going to be third down. Third and two for the London O. Spread wide. Nicer in the nickel. We get a toss. Oh, 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 oh. and there's a drop. To the big 49 fullback, and he's going to scramble, pick it back up. Uh, he's going to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't look like it's going to be any loss. It's going to be a fourth down situation, Tom. Did well to pick that up. That could have gone anywhere. Yeah, you know, the way that ball shaped, it's not made to just bounce and come back no. up. <laughs> it just it does magnetically comes back up through his chest, picks it up, does well to salvage that. Good job. Good job. We still wish we had the roster for the London Olympians so we can tell you who some of these wonderful um, athletes are uh, representing the London Olympians today. Well, that should be fourth and two. Four, excuse me, that's a fourth and a long four. Uh, special teams. Punt, a high punt there from the London O's. Lands fairly in. Uh, the Knights gonna call poison, and the London O's are going to down it. So we might hear that word poison, poison. That's not really poison, that just says stay away from the ball. That ball's so live that if it just breathes on your foot, somebody else can pick it up and you won't be the wiser. So as you hear, poison, poison is called. Everybody stays away until it gets control of its bounce, and then London O will down it, and there it is. Olympians do well there, pinning Farnham in their own 20 yard. 20 in their own in their own red zone if i can say anyways today really well done by the Olympic special teams 
Good work. I think Rich was talking about earlier, what did the special teams do? Rich, that was a perfect example um, of what a special teams are to do. And here comes the Farnham Knights, um, deep in their territory, led by Callum Brown, number four, quarterback. Callum's in the pocket. He's looking to pass up field. Callum's got some space. He's looking for a man on the outside. I think he's found him. He's found Jamison. Number 87, Jamison gets the ball up. Looks like he might have a first down or a little bit short. Good 10-yard gain there. So we have some good blocking there by uh, the London O. And then Callum comes out the pocket, rolls right. And there it is, Jamison, number 87. And it looks like they are going to yeah, give it to him or a little bit short. Say. Let's, let's uh, read it live. There inches, it is. Really, a little yeah. bit short. Second and two for the Knights. Probably his best throw of the day, I think. Uh, under the pressure, on, under the under circumstances. Pressure, yes, yes. On the off. run. Out to, it, out, to the, uh, out to his wide receiver. He's running in the out. There we got a pass, a, a little toss over there to uh, Junior. Junior does a little cut to the outside, decides to come inside, still does a good game. Knights are moving the chains. I like the way when Junior gets the ball, he just starts lining up the road. Look how he takes his time to analyze what he can and cannot do. And holes that you think are impossible to go through are just opportunities for him. Yeah, absolutely pulling very well this second half, getting plenty of yardage under his personal stats belt. Well, you'll see a lot of the players that are playing here, a lot of them are, uh, you will see uh, develop here in our uh, BAFRA league in England, and will go afar as far as the United States and be playing for some of the pro players. We have a couple players down here. here. Matter of fact, Pete uh, was represented for the Green Bay uh, Packers for quite some time. And it's got a lot out there with Texas, so if he's too tall, he had a little touch of that uh, professional. He knows the NFL. And we have a couple of other players from, from the Knights who have been representing that uh, know the NFL. So these guys not only bring a lot of experience, but the NFL team and establishment spends a lot of time and money on the Farnham Knights. So the ball has moved for what looks like 15 yards there. Um, looks like we had a, uh, a personal foul or yeah, one of the... Uh, you can see the call. That's going to give the Knights um, some more running room. Coming out there, end zone. Callum on the hand. First and ten. Barnum. Balls to Junior. Junior's looking to the outside. And once again, Junior is really getting cut off in his own feet. I don't know what the ref can do about that, Junior. That's from here. That's your own fault, son. Getting good yardage on every play. You just want him to break one. Maybe you, you 20 plus coming. yards. You can feel yeah. it coming. What great uh, blocking there by the offensive line of the Farnham Knights. We have number 84 on the right, far right side for the Farnham Knights on wide receiver. Just want to see them throw the ball now. <laughs> Ball snapped, it's handed off to Junior again. Junior's right up the middle before he is uh, smothered again. Another short gain as the Knights start really bashing the defensive line of the London O's. And here's a prime example here. Great blocking by the O-line and the hole kind of collapsed a little bit. But once again, Junior will go right between what we think is an impossible hole for another positive game. So that's gonna be third down, third and long four for the Knights. It's really hitting those holes very hard. That you feel the weight. I mean, <laughs> if you've ever played the game, you will feel the weight on the defensive line and the offensive line. Um, this is the shield wall, as yeah. we say, on both sides yeah. of the battle. And um, about now, they are feeling the wear and the tear of the O-line and the D-line's efforts in both secondaries as they've been bashing them all through the day. Yeah. Third and the long four. Back to pass, he's looking for his man. Oh, he's in it, right into the off uh, defensive player, number 26, and he may take that all the way. There's a block, and he's finally brought down. Callum tries to retrieve and try to make up for it and get in on the tackle. 
Tom, bring that. that I, do I hear a, a whistle? And Plenty of whistles flag. there, Let's yeah. Let's just get clarifications if we find out there. There's Dave McKnight. Don't know if they think that maybe there was uh, unnecessary roughness on the QB. Nah, he took quite a hard hit. And here comes a ruling. Drum roll, please. Ah. Lifeline for Farnham. <laughs> Lifeline? Security line? <laughs> well, that'll give them the opportunity to maintain possession of the ball. So that must have been a hold in the secondary. Well, let's take a look. No, I don't think we see it on that angle. Can we see, I the, can we see the wide, Richard? Here we go. Maybe we see a bit better. Can we just quickly see this? Quickly, quickly. Yeah. Yep, good eye. The there it is, number 98. Yeah. There it was. Yeah. And back to the live action on the field. So that hold directly caused the interception. Number six is on the quarterback there for the Knights. They hand it off to Junior. Junior takes it a few more yards up there. Let's find out. We see a little substitution there for the Knights. They bring Callum out, number four. They put number six in, and that is Daniel Stokes for the Farnham Knights uh, on the ham. There it is, Daniel Stokes calling the ham there. Let's see what he brings to the Knights offense today. Full of energy and pep. We see the ball get thrown a bit more with that cloth running. There it is. He's handing it off to Junior. Junior's looking for the, the hole through the tackle. He's going to pound through and scramble for another yard and a half. Junior really being used as the workhorse in this half. Oh, yes, he is. He's just hammering and bashing it down. There it is, that hole opening up there between the tackle and the tight end. And there he goes right on through. Hey, so what do you think about the Farnham's new get-ups there. They're little dudes. I'm loving that new uniform. New kits. What do the old ones look like? I haven't, I haven't been able to see them. Well, I'll show you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to see it anymore. <laughs> Today's their debut of the new uniforms, bringing them into the 21st century, I'm going to say. Oh, they right. look really okay. snazzy. We want to thank the sponsors once again for keeping a reach into your pockets coming out for this team. Third and a long eight, and it's Stokes. Stokes looking for some room. Stokes looking to run the ball. Stokes is wrapped up by 99, number 91, and a big loss of yardage there for Stokes. There he is, Tom. Thought he did well initially here with the little spin, try and get away from the D-lineman, but he's reeled back in pretty simply and devoured. <laughs> well, they wrapped him up, yeah. boy. I don't want to be Stokes right now. You would have thought he ran faster, because I'm telling you, Tom, I'd have seen them big guys running. I, I would have been yeah, running. I would, I, I would have done the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> go, go. Back to action on the field. Oh, Stokes out. Hey, 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 hey. Go Godfrey one back one in. Uh, that's Callum, Callum back in, number four. Callum, apologies. Fourth and a, and a long, Longer long. So it looks like the Knights are going to be going way upfield, and there it is. He's looking for a clean pass uh, deception. So that will turn the ball back over to the London Olympians. Let's take another look at it. Is that Hail Mary? There it is. Going to the far left side. He's looking for Godfrey. I think this may be the wrong option. Honestly, and in throws it into double coverage when there's a single, single coverage on the inside. <gasps> Uh, the ability to be able to read the offensive line to be able to call an audible because they were in a nickel. Nickel zone. They were ready all day long for that. So that's going to turn the ball over to the London O's. They're going to take the ball a little bit in their own, uh, a little short of midfield position. First and 10, London Olympians, your scoring update. Barnum Knights, 13. London Olympians, 37. We're in mid mid stroke of the fourth quarter of play here in Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Number 16, the quarterback for the London O's. He takes the snap, stays in the pocket, looks for the far left side. That ball hits the ground first. Looking for his intended receiver, number one. 
pass is incomplete. Defense is really on top in this half. There's a flurry of scoring in the first. Nothing to show for it in this half so far. Pretty simple throw there, just slightly underthrown. Great coverage there by the Farnham defense to be able to contain that. As we can see that they are in a zone setup built just to contain the offense. Quarterback rolling out the pocket. Quarterback stepped up by the line. Oh, number nine, 90. E man. E man comes in and puts the hug of truth on him. Oh, we'll watch it coming in from the far right side. He beats his tackle, and there he is. He's all over the quarterback. Nowhere to run, but down, down, down. QB didn't stand a chance with that one. Beats his man off the line. We looked far too easily. E-Man did it far too easy. Yes, yeah, it that was. That looked easy. He's a big man, but he's fast. He's up against a big left tackle, and that was very easy. Third down, third and 11. Ball takes the snap, quarterback staying in the pocket. He got the pressure on. He's looking way upfield, looking way upfield for his man. Overthrown, intended for number 80. Pass is incomplete. No foul on the play, no foul. Good pressure right in his face as he tries to get this ball away. Yeah, yeah, you can see the blitz coming in there by yeah. number 30 for the Farnham Knights. So that power came in and, uh, I mean, that pressure came on. So let's, uh, let me find out who put that blitz on. That's Stevie, Stevie number 30 for the Farnham Knights puts the pressure on. And there looks like there's a little bit of confusion here with the London O. They're pulling players in and pulling them out. Um, and it looks like they better call a timeout or that clock is running. You have 25 seconds to do the play clock and there is yeah. the whistle blown. Delay of game. Let's get the official ruling on the field, but that looks to be a delay of game. Let me explain that really quick for you. Um, you have 25 seconds to, to snap the ball. After that, it's a delay of game. They'll be beat fourth down. Special teams will stay in for the London Olympians and stay out for the Farnham Knights as it's fourth down, five yard penalty. There's the snap. The snap is high. Looks to stay midfield. It's going to bounce. Oh, the special teams again for the London Olympians are pushing the ball position deep into Farnham territory. What a job by the London Olympian special teams. What a great punt. Considering in the first half, they didn't trust their kicker to take extra points. This is excellent by their special teams. Right in the corner, dead at the seven yard line. Pin Farnham right in. That's gonna put uh, Farnham Knights uh, deep in their own territory. First and 10, looks like Callum's gonna be taking the snap close to his own five yard line really hard for Farnham now. Got to march a long way downfield, especially with this London Olympians defense, which has put pressure on all day. Well, they have definitely been putting the pressure on, and I know the Knights are also feeling the pressure. They're wanting to put some more points up on the field. They want to be dominant here at home, and they want to make sure that the London Olympians are feeling that dominance. So let's see what they can bring, on, bring to the plate. Here is Brown taking a direct snap again from Ingram. Receiver spread wide the pocket. Brown comes out the pocket and he's finally caught by number 91 and he's brought down to the ground. Second down, uh, no gain of any gain at all. Let's take another look at that. Tom, over to you. Disappointing considering how many receivers were wide out there. Not able to release the ball. Feels the pressure, flushes out and gets gobbled up by 91. And once again, as you said, with all those receivers, I would have thought that he would have been yeah. able to get that ball out or maybe, yeah, maybe even just give it a chance this late in the game, win single coverage, let his boys try and ca uh, catch a ball or two. I see we got big 77, Bowers Murphy on the old line. I remember Bowers Murphy a couple of years ago uh, coming to us as a, as a rookie. Good to see him still putting his contribution for the front of the nice. The ball is handed off there to Freddie. 
Freddie fumbles the ball, and it looks like the London Olympians have picked up the ball deep. That's number 91. That guy has been putting in the work for the London O's on this fourth quarter of play. Can't keep him out of the game. You can't keep him out of every play. Um, once again, let's just take a look over to you, Tom, your views. Yeah, it looks like he just gets a hand in on the tackle, and 91 picks it up for the turnover. Did you notice the technique of wrapping the elbows together when you're bringing your man down, giving him the inability to put pressure on the ball? One of the techniques you learn in college ball. Right, okay, excellent. Learn something new every day watching this uh, sport. If my elbows are tucked into my body, I can't I can't put additional pressure to my hands right. to be able to hold the ball. So if I'm falling down, the ball's gonna come undone, and that's just what happened there. Yeah. Really good ball playing we're seeing here. Leonard O is going to be taking the ball at their own four-yard line. Four scrambles to get into the end zone. The Farnham Knights have their uh, nickel defense back up on the field. Note that the goal line defense back on the field. O's are taking it out the shotgun. Number two back in. Snap. He's looking up the middle for his man, number one. Evo is in and out the hands, and it went into the Farnham Knights, and the Farnham Knights need the ball. That went right into number 38. Oh, you need to see that again. Can we get a slow motion? Oh, can our production manager, please. <laughs> ball is hit. Fumbled straight in. To number 38, and, and he it. had the sense to knee it into the end zone. Good hit by number 25, Appleford. Good recovery by number 38. Let me see if I can pick him up faster than I can see it. I think the ref has something to say about that. Tom Tame. And the official ruling. Okay, so the, le so, okay. Now we got a flag. So we have an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty thrown against the head coach um, by the referee. Now there, there was about 10 seconds of, of footage that we really didn't capture be able to bring you accurately what happened. Let's see if we can capture it on the instant replay. So here from the wide angle, we can see that the game, ha uh, the play happened. There's need, and there is no flag on the play. Oh, I don't see a flag. I see him calling a touchdown. Oh, was there a touchdown? No. Do you think he crossed the line before the ball left his hands? Snap. So before he fumbled, he crossed the line, maybe. Didn't look like it to me, though. Let's get the official ruling. Taking a snap. Pressure is on. Intended for number nine. Pass is incomplete. to the action on play. Number two takes the snap. He's looking for the middle, and he's going to do a quarterback sneak, and he's wrapped up by the Knights. Number 23. Looks like a run pass option here, and isn't, isn't able to get the ball out before the pressure. And there he is. Once he's committed, he's so, already committed yeah. inside. Knights have the goal line defense on. O's are deep in the red zone. Once again, that pressure is there. And look at that nice defense comes in. There's the blitz. And the ball gets fumbled. And it's a scramble. And there it is. The Knights have the ball. In an 
Hold out two of the hands. Alexi's happy. The knights are happy. Let's take another look at that play. He folds back. What the pressure is in. E-Man hits him from the back. The hit. ball flops out. And then as we cover it slowly, oh, it's try. Gilly hits him, number 23, to keep him from the ball. And then E-Man picks it back up. Fantastic hit. Blindside tackle. QB has no chance holding onto that ball with a hit like that. Well, E-Man's really happy. You can see the Knights are happy there. That's the little bit of the momentum that they need to see this through. That's going to give the Knights the ball back. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights 13, London Olympians 37, deep in the fourth quarter of play. Must remind. And here comes Brown. Sorry, must remind that this time isn't accurate. We're not on the ref's whistle. Uh, I believe there was, there's a still a running clock, but other than that. Brown's looking far to the right side. He's looking for Godfrey on the right side. No, Jameson. Pass is incomplete, intended for Jameson, number 87. As you can see, Godfrey has some of the pressure coming through. And once again, he's trying to see over that those hands that are up. Very good from the defense. Um, just a little bit short to Jameson. Pass is incomplete. Here comes Brown, number four. Ballum. Freddie, number 27 in the backfield. Wide receivers, receivers spread wide, and there's the snap. There's his man on the outside, number 86. He's looking for him. The pass is incomplete. It's clean. No flag on the play. Incomplete pass. Uh, we'll get this from this view and just show you that pressure there from the London nose. And there is Callum. There's that deep pressure, and once again, there it is. Pass is incomplete. London defense is really starting to put the pressure on the offensive line as they start to wind down in the fourth, fourth quarter. Yeah, comes hasn't been able to get set all day. A lot of his balls coming out inaccurate because of it. Good play by the defense, though, getting well, the pressure on him. And it looks like we're going to be repeating that second down because we've had another, uh, we had a penalty there um, on the London Dose. Uh, it's going to repeat second down. Coming out the shotgun. Callum looking for some more room. He's looking for his man. Oh! Instant replay. The same play in and out of his hands. Let's take another look. He takes it out the shotgun. I think that's a really good done there by Callum, giving himself a little bit more room. Beautiful pass. Sees his man, and there it is. In and out of his hands. If that was a pill, I'd be sick. These unforced errors, dropping simple balls are killing Farnham today. Great blocking up front, right in the QB's face. Excellent way to keep his pocket nice and stable. But if you're going to drop passes like that, I don't know what to do about it. Well, the, I, I'm sure that uh, the coaches will know what to do about it because uh, I, hope I can so. guarantee I really they will hope work so, hard yeah. on that the next coming weeks as we start to get really into the season. Yeah, I think catching practice is a must. <laughs> And here we are, back to the game. Uh, Callum coming back out in the shotgun. Pete in the backfield. Third down, third and long. Callum is looking upfield. Callum is looking, the pressure is on. No one to keep number 40 from wrapping his arms around Callum and down he goes. Let's take another look at it. Tom, your view. Another really disappointing I find from Farnham that this set kind of encapsulates their entire game. You know, they get a great turnover, good play on defense. Then a few drop catches, a few mistakes here and there, and they're pushed back, not able to get anything on offense. All really, the air goes out, yeah. Really frustrating. I understand, Tom. Well, let's see if the, uh, the Knights can push that frustration to the side and can see if their defense and uh, special teams can uh, reciprocate and get a turnover. Here's the punt for the special teams. What a bad snap. Oh, deep into the end zone. And he's going to, that is going to be a touchback. Safety. And there is a safety. Two points. Let's take another look at it. Oh, Tom, you must be sick. Tom, let me help you. Let me help you. <laughs> what a snap. We've seen this from the last few games. It's something that they need to work on in practice, the snaps. But yeah, another safety conceded. And that's two points up uh, for the special teams for the London O's and two points given for the special teams for the Farnham Knights. I'm sure they're going to work on that snap there. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here. Farnham Knights, 13. London Olympians, 39. As we're still in fourth quarter of play. Once again, we still do now have the rosters for the London Olympians. 
we will also take this time to thank some of our sponsors, DNA Brickwork, Hangzone Securities, Premier Prospects, LT Sports, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Productions. We also thank you and the viewers for watching today's live stream. Special teams out to kick off for the Farnham Knights after the safety. They will now have to give the ball back over to the London Olympians, kicking the ball off at their own 15 yard line. And we have a whistle at the time of the kick. Let's get the official ruling from Dave Knight on the field. Okay. So it um, looks like the, the, re the referees were not set and so they didn't officially call the time from the umpire on the back line judges. So we will be kick the kickoff. Uh, ball will still be at the 15 yard line for Funham Knights. And here we are. There it is, beautiful kick to the sideline. Lovely kick by the special team. Straight out of play, though. And out of play, so they'll, they'll, they'll mark it there, and the ball will come out 10 yards. But I think that that was well done by the special teams to just keep the ball down there and out in London O territory. Um, they've been playing a lot of defense on the defense of today. It comes back now, doesn't it, though? Penalty on Farnham for kicking it straight out of play. Yes, it does. Yeah. It, it will be against Farnham. So uh, 10, from 10 from the 15. Yeah. There you go. So we have some in NCAA uh, rules. Because that was on a safety uh, and the kick, that kick does have to stay in, in bounds. Otherwise, it's going to be taking back five yards. Okay, that's a little bit different than a standard kickoff or a punt. So this ball will be taking back five yards. Barnum will be uh, retrying the kickoff and hopefully they can keep it in bounds. That's number 53 on the special teams kicking the ball for the Farnham Knights. So I, I had my head in NFL rules there. I was expecting a punt from the safety. Uh, I, yes, I know. I understand. And that is Conan Quinn, number 53 on the special teams kicking it off. And he does put it right into the receiver's hands. That's number 10. He slung down by number 84 for the Farnham Knights. Uh, let's take another look at that as he tries to tiptoe his way through. So he gets the ball. Good coverage on special teams, but a nice little gain for quite, not exactly the hardest march down the field for the Olympians. No, um, and right now, um, as if I was the London Olympians, I would just want to maintain possession of the ball, run the clock out. Absolutely. Try not to hand the ball back over to Farnham. Yep. Try not to pass, so I think that we're going to see the London O's come out and start running the ball as much as possible yeah. um, and try to uh, run that clock yeah, out. Yeah, so just chew the clock, yeah, you'd think so. Uh, now, that's what I would do. So, as you can <laughs> see, they're coming back out in the shotgun position. One tail back there for the London O's. Oh, straight in the pass. And the pressure is on for the Knights, and Jerry is. He's <laughs> passing upfield to the left, out of bounds, incomplete. Intended for number 18 for the London O's. Ends up wasting about three seconds there. Uh, that's intended for 88, apologies. Uh, we'll watch every play. There's the pressure there from the Knights, big 92. Hands up there, very good going there from the defense. And that pressure uh, was enough to send that ball out of bounds. If we can eat the play down, then uh, that's a result for the Farnham Knights. Second and 10, London O's. I think maybe for the next game, we'll try and get the refs to have a stadium clock that we can uh, we can use because we're really struggling on the time so do apologize well I i'm sure that they'll help us out on our next uh production presentation. Thank you. second and ten shotgun london knows and he's passing the ball he's putting it far up looking for number 88 again close he's trying to take advantage of his speed down there trying to send him downfield they're looking to put some more points on the board he had him he had him open and here it is you're right, that speed on the outside gets past the coverage. He oh, gets that past throw. the line and, and the backfield, and he's gone. That throws any better. Oh, 
another call from the refs. So we have another flag on the field. That one is going to be against the London Olympian. The way they're pulling it back, that's got to be uh, personal or holding. That's holding. I would imagine so, yeah. That's holding. London O's. That's going to repeat the down, and it's going to add some extra yardage. Well, let's see how they play this one out. Second down. Second long 20 for the London Olympian. Coming out the shotgun position. Tail back in the backfield. Split two wide. And we have a timeout called by Pete in the Farnham Knights. So again, we would like to thank all of our watchers and listeners for being with us here at Cheers Bay Production as we bring our first edition of the live streaming production for the Farnham Knights home game. So we'll be with you through the season here um, as we bring you more live streaming action. So please stay with us. Uh, find out more through Farnham Knights homepage and Farnham Knights Facebook page. Um, also, we would like to thank our sponsors, BAFRA, www.bafra.org. Be there, be there, be there. DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Be There Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Productions. Thank you once again for being with us as we bring you more action on the field. Second down, long 20. Tom, what are you going to do? What do you do? In this situation, it really should be for the Olympians just to manage the game, see it out. Well, it looks like they are trying to uh, put more points out. Uh, ball incomplete, intended for uh, number 27. I'm um, bringing in the middle, as what? we can see. Why do you think that is, that they're, they're constantly throwing the ball now, it seems? I, I have, I can, I'll tell you either uh, one or two things I think is happening. Yeah. Point. They are, they do know that they have a, a big uh, point spread. They can run the clock out. Yeah. I think they're practicing. Yeah, I think it might be a develop it's develop a development. Developmental. Exactly. Yeah. Um, to be able to do this also is going to get the secondary, uh, um, the secondary for the Farnham Knights to back up. Yep. So then when they give the ball to big 49 again, or the fullback, he'll have a big hole in the middle. A lot of men in the box here. Yeah, there's a lot of men in the box. A lot of men in the box. Third and long. And the blitz, there we go. And there it is, there's the pressure, and there's the pass way up top, and it's looking, it's looking incomplete. Very good pass protection by the Farnham Knights, intended for number 95 for um, 85 for the London Olympians. Look at that pressure that the Knights put on, and he finds it up looks it up and it's intended you would have thought that was anybody's ball everybody had their eyes on it but i think that uh, that was a very good play by both sides pass is incomplete fourth down scenario for the london o. i think maybe the wide receivers have had a word with the coach just trying to get a bit a bit more of the ball in the air maybe get a few yards for those for themselves well the o's have a um, they have a plethora of speed on their on their bench they are yeah. a fast team and when they start letting those wide receivers go uh, we need to change them because they're really hard to keep up with and they are very fast and athletic. So the Knights do have a challenge in their hands in that uh, retrospect. Uh, the special team's punt is up, it's up in the air and they're going to wait for it to down it. That ball will be down on the Farnham Knights 27 yard line. Farnham Knights will be taking possession of the ball on their own 27. Let's take another look at that punt at some of the height that he has on it and how he keeps that ball in play. I must say, the special teams for the London O today are doing a, a magnificent job. Yeah, consistent, aren't they? Consistently pinning Farnham back. Not exactly the uh, seven yard highlight reel punt, but seven yard, <laughs> pinning to the seven yard line even. Um, but still consistently making them drive long ways down the field. I don't know if you've noticed on there some of the great sportsmanship. We've had a little bit of some personal fouls out there, but as they kind of settled down and got into their pace, and uh, I think the respect has been established by both sides, that we're seeing a lot of sportsmanship uh, out there, and it's really good to see with the league, this is what we want in the premiership here in England with the BAFRA. So uh, we really want to give the teams um, a lot of respect, and we want to thank them both out there for keeping the cool heads and being able to give us a fantastic show. Yeah, players have been playing with best intentions, no bad faith. Really good from both sides today. Yeah. 
Big Roddy, 86 there for the Farnham Knights. Good to see that big young man doing his thing. Got Connell 84 out there. Outweighed, as we know, big 66. Can't miss him. Let know we'll be taking the ball. And here we go, uh, my, my correction, Farnham Knights will be taking the ball still. Ball will be marking on their 27 yard line. Callum Brown, he's been putting some work in, but I think he's been feeling some of the pressure today. He's been having some problems standing inside the pocket. He's, he tends to run outside of the pocket, flushing left, flushing right. Um, I know he should have some confidence with that offensive line because they've really been working. So I think the shotgun um, option for Callum is the best for the season. Yeah, just give him a bit more time. They've been better in the run game than they have in the pass. A lot of pressure there. And there it is to Freddie. Freddie's got some blocking downfield. He's finally wrapped up. He's able to bring the ball back to the line of scrimmage. And is that a flag or was that an accident by the ref down there? Let's find out. There's Callum to Freddie. Looks designed there to get the pressure so he can just quickly hit it up to the flat and okay. then get some room. That'll back up the defense for the London O's to try to get a little bit of breathing room. The official. Okay, I could have corrected you on that one there, Mr. Knight. That's a five yard penalty offsides on the defense, so that's going to be moving the uh, ball down a little bit giving Farnham another break as they start to conclude their last drive of the quarter. Here come the Knights. And once again, Callum is favoring the shotgun on the fourth quarter. I think he heard you there, Tom. Yeah, we're spreading it out now. He's looking left side of the field. Left side is Jameson, and it's interception again. Easy. Oh, he sends it to Big 31, and he's turning on the wheels of the London O's. He's going to try to break a tackle before he's finally ran out. They're going to blow the ball down dead at the 10-yard line, and that is going to give the ball back to the London O's. Let's take another look at what went wrong intended for Jameson on there with Callum. I just don't think this ball comes out how he means it to at all. It sort of balloons up in the air. It's easy, easy pick. Uh, yeah. Not enough velocity on the ball. No. And so it's laying it up, giving plenty of time for all players to say, I want some. Yeah. 31 took it today, and that's it. That's it. The man shouts his name, and he gets the ball. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end the game for you today. Your scoring update. Farnham Knights, 13. London Olympians, 39. We would like to thank you for streaming, and we're going to turn it back over to our production team, and thank you once again. Tom, over to you. A decent game. Farnham were much better this time around than they have been in previous weeks, so definite improvement there. Other than that, I don't feel that they should be too disappointed with today's showing. London Olympians, really strong outfit, as they showed a lot of speed on the outside, like you said, Maz. Yeah, I think it's a lot of positives to take from today. And over to you, Maz, to outro this game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the show today. We <laughs> enjoyed bringing it with you. Um, so once again, your scoring update, Farnham Knights, 13, London Olympians, 39. We're going to be here next week, same time, same place. Please be with us. We'd like to thank you once again for being with the show. We are 